Drop that statement she right now. Wait, 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 wait,
So then tell me, where is she now? Oh, she has gone. My girl, <laughs> she has gone. Gone back? Why? Ah, she's done with her project here now. More guy. If you see this girl. <laughs> If you see this girl, I said I wasn't going to tell you until you see her. Hey. I have finally found my missing lady. Are you serious? Last bus stop. Wow! That is good for you, brother man! <laughs> big, 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 big congratulations, man! Man, I'm super happy for you, man. I'm so, so, so happy. You. Are you serious? Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> Whoa, you are the man, bro. You are the man. <laughs> well, um, as for me, I am not ready to settle down now yet because I've got a lot of exploit to make as a young man. Yeah, which, which exploit that you've not made? Which exploit I want me? Is My... it big way, slim mm. ways you have as, as exploited? As Listen to me, this life is one. All right? So I don't need to rush my. I think it's very early. So, so early for me to settle down now. <laughs> why, why, why should I even settle down now? Yeah, let, me, let me tell you the truth, sir. You're deceiving yourself. So you think you still have time. For your mind at time, day. You're, you still call yourself a young man that you give yourself more more years to settle down. I deceive myself. I deceive myself. I swear that. Hear this. Time don't have to play with me. Time must wait for me. Let me tell you, Danny, I have all the time in the world to do or achieve whatever I want to achieve. Right? Notwithstanding, I will get married, but that will be when I'm close to, let me say, um, 50. Yeah. I think 50 is a good uh, age, you know. 50 years. <laughs> this guy, you're so serious. How? No, Allah, just wait till your children start calling my own children uncle. That's, me, that's when you know the time. Listen, yeah. listen, listen, listen. In this marriage thing, overtaking is allowed. Mm -hmm. No, who first married, the first born, no. So I'm just telling you. Besides, Seth, where is it even written? Mm. It's not even scriptural that you must get married. It's not written anywhere. My, my good friend, you know, I cannot advise you wrong. Settle down. All this, your girls, where you and they do harder, 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 harder. Find one person and settle down. That one person you will call your own mm. and start raising kids. At least when we have this kind of meeting, we will talk about business. We also talk about family. Everything go balance. Stop deceiving yourself, saying there is time. There is this time. No deal. Time. They are marrying up the good women. <laughs> no, no, it's not true. The one where the men are not Have you not heard that the beautiful ones are not yet born? I'm waiting for those beautiful ones until they are born. <laughs> Back with my sister. Hello. Personalizing me, we missed you. You two fights, calm down. Morally, I don't understand. Mama, I'm going to drag me now. Ah, please stop it. See, girls, girls, truly, I had an amazing time. Wow, truly. I mean, the experience was so beautiful. I, I didn't know it was going to be different, but come on, girls. I had such a good time. Okay, can you just tell us about the guy you spoke about? Hey! I want to hear about him. BBC camera woman. What? You know you never give up on a program. Change from what? Yeah. What is it? How? Everything you want to hear. You guys have asked me before. I told you to calm down. Uh -huh. I will give you the gist. Now, small, small now. No. no. We want to hear the gist now. Of Why course. Later? Wait, though. You mean you girls don't even want to hear my experience? Mm -mm. Everything that... Tessie, I told you she was hiding something from us, right? Uh, uh, exactly. Mm -hmm. You've told us about your training experiences, oh, blah, 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 blah. We want to know about the other side of life. The guy. I, I'm not saying anything. If you don't want to tell us, rest. Okay, now. Me and Seth, I don't rest. I bet tell us, dog. Tell us, what is it? Tell us about the guy. Okay, 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 okay. I give up. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna break the good news to you. See, my ears are wide open. <laughs> <laughs> you know, every time I want to talk about him, there's just this. Hi, baby. <laughs> I am fine. 
Come on, darling, I called you when I landed. I ought to be home now. Yes, I'm home. Everybody is fine. <laughs> they are here. They won't kill me with just me if I'm tired. <laughs> you know what? We have a lot of catching up to do. So you give me some time. I'm just going to give them a little bit of our experience and then I'll call you back later, okay? <laughs> All right. I love you too. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> Love us. Hey, so we were talking about him. Yeah. Ha! What's ha? Tell us, Jesus. Tell us. What's going to be ha? Who not take a Tell us about him now. You don't do. So as I was saying. Amaka, mommy, where are you going to? I told you I want to go to daddy's office. You dare not step out of this compound. Did you hear me? Mommy, I mean, what is it now? What have I done? I just want to go to daddy's office and get the money I asked him to, 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 to give me. Amaka, you heard me. Do not step an inch out of this compound. You think you are stubborn, right? Mommy, I don't understand all this, so I don't even understand. What have I done now? I just want to go to my father's office and get money. Okay, in fact, I know what to do. Let me call my brother. Ah, the baby will start complaining with me, telling me I'm very stubborn. Ah, I want to go and get money from daddy. Is it too much? Please. You don't just, how can you come into a car and you're not wearing your seatbelt? I don't understand, also I don't like to carry you in my car. I don't like it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Meanwhile, you see all those things Cheesy has been telling us about the guy. The guy she met, trust me, all my lie. They are all lies. Blunt and lie. I'm telling you. Why would I think so? Why wouldn't I think so? I mean, come on now. Come on. Come on. Use your senses. Use your brains. Uh, listen, I came into this world before you guys. I'm not, I'm not a child. I know when someone is lying. And I can tell you categorically that she did not meet any guy. Now lie. But I don't think she's able to just come up with those stories. You don't think so because you have a dull brain. You have a coconut head. You don't have sense. No, I know you don't have sense. See, let me tell you something. I know her more than you do. I know this girl. This girl is my sister. We are sisters. Yes! I came into this world like I said before you guys. So I can tell you. See, let me tell you something. She, she, she's just like her mother. Like mother, like daughter. Like daughter, like mother. What is his star? What is his star? What? I, I don't know, but I don't think she'll come up with stories just to make us feel inferior. I mean, I can never feel inferior to anybody. So, it's actually none of my business if you ask. Shut up your mouth! Shut up! If I clean your mouth, clean it! Who is feeling inferior? No, no. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you to feel inferior? Shut up your mouth! Who are you to feel inferior? Look at this one. Look at you. Look at see small small yash they shake. Small yash they shake. Look at you. Last born. What do you even know? What do you know? Yes, we are sisters. Yes, I got your back. I care about you guys. Okay. What? She is nothing. Let me tell you something. Listen up. Listen up. I am telling you this because we are sisters. But I am more superior. I am your elder sister. You guys are still little. I mean, very little, little, very little. Now, listen up. Listen up. All we have discussed. I don't want you to tell Cheesy anything. If I hear anything, eh, I will conk your sense. What did you say? I said I am not going to say anything. Speak out loud. What did you say? I would not say anything. 
I've heard you. Listen, we are sisters, okay? I got you guys back. But I just want you to know who is who. Listen up, I want you to know who is who. Get it! Get it! Be smart! Lady Christy. You are too much. You see, ask me why you are too much. Why? Each time I come here, I feel relaxed. Just because of the way you do your things. You just keep shouting empty praises at me. Just keep telling me how beautiful I look. And an empty hand. What did you bring for me when you were coming? Every day, so from one story to another. Yeah. You can just look. You like talking. I need maintenance money. All those like hand cards, you don't even count on them. You see, the other time I bought you a plate of food and a bottle of drink, I know I'm ready to buy more. Have you forgotten who I am? Papa Luva. Mm. Papa Luva. Yeah. I'm waiting. serious about this guy she met during her travel. I think she's telling the truth. <laughs> a businessman. A rich businessman. He has proposed to her already. <laughs> what she was going to. She's is not at home. She's not in her room and I've checked the whole house. She's not here. <laughs> so Chizzy left this house without telling us her sisters, right? Chizzy left this house without telling me, her elder sister. Didn't I tell you? I knew it. There is something cheesy is hiding. I know. I I know those things. We should just wait for her till she comes back. It's not that serious. No, 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 no. Look at your mouth. No, look at your mouth. It's not that serious. What does she want to tell us? Lies. Of course, lies are as usual. I can never trust cheesy. That your sister, chameleon, Kame. In fact, if you see snake and see cheesy, key cheesy. I don't mean it that way. I mean, she's just, her name is Mrs. Linus. She knows how to lie. She knows how to lie. But don't worry. I know what to do. <laughs> Sister, I, I don't know, but for me, I, I don't like condemning people without, without evidence. Yes. A, you're just a goat. A goat. You are, you are, you are too dull. 
You are a fool, Lolo, Lolo, a fool. I don't know why I have a sister like you. You have a dull brain. Why don't you mm. make use of your this this brain, this this coconut head? Eh? What are you using it for? To eat just to eat in this house. Get out of here. What did I do? I what am I what am I even doing here? Look at this, excuse me. No sense. Use your, don't use your brain well. Goats. That is calling me dull brain. No dull, no. I'm very, very smart. I came back yesterday. Oh. You're welcome, bro. Thank you. No. Who is this man I always see with? It's time to come to you. Why do you ask such questions? He's my customer. He's customer. Eh? Every time I come here, you guys are sitting in a very funny position, chit chatting and laughing. Is that how you laugh with all your customers? It's very different because I don't see other people sitting down like this with you. Cheesy. He is my customer. What else do you want to hear? I know why I'm saying this. I know why I'm saying it. Yes. Oh, thank you very oh, much. Thank you very much. I don't want. Thank you. Give me. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know why they are being so small. The reason I'm saying all this is because I want you to come back home. We miss you. I, I, I will talk to dad, but no, everything will be fine. Please, Chizu. Nothing will make me go back to Chizu. I love the kind of life I'm living now. What life? No, mama, I'm asking you, what life? Is this take a look around you? Is this what you call life? Mama, this is not life. Or you think it's right for a woman to leave her husband's house and just to do whatever she wants. Go ahead. And what? And what? Say it. Look here, Chizaba. You are my daughter. And I will not have you talk to me the way you are doing now. Mother, you like it or not, Mama, I will say my truth. I will continue to say his father is a good man. And I'm a bad woman, isn't it? I didn't say that to you. That's not what I said. It's okay. Chisaba Ezuko. I can see that you came here to embarrass me. Now, go back to your good father and leave me the way I am. Oh, no, calm down now. That is... At least let's just talk. I came here for a reason. We haven't even talked. Excuse me. Mama, you don't have to. you go to? I um, I went to visit my mom. Your mom? Yeah. And your face is looking like that. Hmm? Huh? You want to understand? I won't understand. Every time I won't understand. I knew that was what you wanted to say. I just brought it out of your mouth. I know you don't want to tell me where you went to, but it's fine. 
You don't want to tell me what happened there. I don't know what it, I don't know what is wrong with you. And you will go out without even telling me. Huh? I don't I don't, I don't understand you. I don't understand. Every time I want to understand. I want to understand, I want to understand. What will I understand? What will I ever understand? Huh? I beg you. Tessie, come to my room now. Now. you where she went to <laughs> she said she went to see her mother lie of the millennium that girl can lie for the whole world but you know me you know your sister I will find out about her whereabout she know me I think I should just go and talk to her it'll be better no. Let me get you a speaker so you go to the junction and shout it loud. Why would you do that? No, why would you do that, Amebo? Radio without battery. You want a gun? Gun? Look at your mouth. Mouth got gun. Come on. Don't you ever call my name. Don't you even think of mentioning my name. You want to go and ask her? Did I send you a message? I used to send you a message. I'm sorry. I sorry for you. yourself. I fed you. Now go. Are you asking me out of your I said go. I'm sorry. I'm not joking. Go. Go. I'm busy. Go. Ready. Get out. Really? Hello. She hey, sister. Oh. <sighs> Just left the house without saying anything. And it's unlike you, I was worried. I'm sorry. You know there's no way I would leave the house without telling you, but I had to quickly leave. Where did you go to? I went to see my mom. Mm. How is she doing? She's fine. She's... You don't look happy. Is everything okay? Everything is not okay, Tessie. I don't know, but my mother just a way of, of getting me angry. No matter how hard I try to, to make things right. I don't know. It's fine. It's okay. You're here. Yes, I'm here. Tessie, come with me now. Now, we're discussing something. I said now. Sister, I want to see. I think you should go. Sister. If I What are you telling Cheesy? How? What do you mean by how? 
Is this a question and answer section? Listen up, Tessie. I saw the way your mouth, your lip was moving. Obviously, you were gossiping about me with my name. You know how much I hate gossips. I do not like it. Especially when it concerns me. I mean, come on. So what were you telling her? I don't understand. I wasn't saying anything. If I conk your sense, eh? You will remember. What were you telling her? I wasn't saying anything. Rather, she was the one telling me about her visit to her mother. Ah, sister, if I may ask, why are you so disturbed by Cheesy? Ever since she came back, I've seen how restless you are. Why? Are you mad? I ask, are you mad? Now look at me. I am your big sister. I have nothing to be worried about. Nothing worries me. Nothing disturbs me. So I am not disturbed about Cheesy. Who is Cheesy? What is her son name? My father's name. Excuse me? Of course, my father's name. But who raised her? I don't know. Now you listen to me. Nothing, nothing can ever disturb me. I'm only disturbed, like you said, about how you gossip about me. That's all. Huh? The next time I walk on you guys discussing about me, <laughs> I will make living in this house miserable for you. Like a viper snake. Sir, you call me. Oh, yes. Uh, prepare. Cucumber. Um, apple. And um, banana fruit salad for me. Okay? Okay, sir. Let me know when you're ready. Okay, sir. My beautiful India. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, you, You're looking worried. Is anything bothering you? Yes, Dad. Father, I would gladly say that you are the best thing that has happened to me. You are a father anyone would wish to have. You've been a good man and you've loved me effortlessly as a child. And from the deepest part of my heart, I appreciate it. But Father, there is something missing in my life. Something missing? What is it? My mom. You know, I... I remember all the stories you told me about her infidelity, everything she did. But I believe by now she must have learned her lessons. I just want to know if she comes back and apologizes to you, would you take her back? Please. Please, Father, please. Jesus. <coughs> You know I love you so much. And there is practically nothing you will ask of me that I will not do. So long as it is within my capability. You see, your mother and I separated over 20 years ago. That's a pretty long time. Moreover, you just said it now, the reason for our separation, infidelity. So, according to tradition, there is no way, absolutely no way, that I will be able to accept her back. You need to understand that. All I'm asking is, it's just to get a positive answer from you. 
that you married three wives. Two are gone. My mother is the only one left. I just, I, I feel it's a sign. Yeah, I, you know she, she didn't even remarry since she left. I just feel that you two can come back. It's going to make a whole lot of difference, please. My daughter, you won't understand. I know you are saying this out of emotions. But what you are asking for is deeper than what you know or what you're thinking right now. Okay? This is impossible. And by the way, I assume you've been seeing her from time to time. True or false? My mother is the cause of all this. I have urged her countless times to visit here, but she refused. She has always been the problem. That's why, because we don't want to call you and start complaining that Amaka did this, Amaka did that. I didn't do anything, I just asked that it give you small money, just small 3,000 naira. You didn't give you the money? As long as you didn't want to give me the money, the mommy stopped me from giving me the money. That's why he left the office without giving me that money. It's okay. I'll give you the money. I don't want you to keep quarreling with our parents. It's not nice. You should know the way you present things to them. It's not nice quarreling with them now, all the time. It's okay. It's just that mom doesn't want to understand me sometimes. Then you make her understand. It's not when she's talking, you're talking. Thank you. Hmm? I've heard you. I know you'll do it for me. That's why I came. Oh, here comes. My baby. <laughs> Hi, darling. How are you? How are you? It's my sister. Oh! Our wife to be cheesy. <laughs> You're so beautiful. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Hi. Okay, I'll be on my way. Thank you so much. It's fine. I'll send you the money, okay? Did Amaka tell you where she was going to? She did not. That girl has started again. She's angry because of the 50,000 naira she has been demanding from you. Hmm. Would that be a problem? I will give her if she comes back. If that is a problem. Did you ask her what she will use the money for? Because she doesn't lack anything in this house. Does she? Honey, do I need to ask her? But if you insist, I will ask her. There's no need. She will lie to you. Yes, you overpampered her in the past. That is why she misbehaves. You don't have to give her all she wants. There you go again. Huh? If I didn't pamper my only daughter, who else? Huh? No, tell me now. She's her only daughter. You are spoiling her, you know. You are spoiling that girl. Like I said, you don't have to give her everything she wants, always. You don't. Don't do that. So, honey, giving my daughter what she wants, does that mean I'm spoiling her? It means you're spoiling her. Yes. Make her understand that life is not a bed of roses. Tomorrow she will get married and might not cope with the husband because of the training you gave her today. I don't know why you are sounding this way. I want to remind you that she is the only daughter we have. Huh? So, if, if, if I cannot show her love, who else will I show love? Oh, I've said my own. Do not point accusing finger at me when the time comes. I know why I'm saying this. You are spoiling her. You are spoiling her. No problem. I'm not going to uh, point any accusing finger to anybody. I will bear the consequence. Okay. Mr. Okay. Uh, she's my daughter. Um, 
Are you saying the girl you just introduced to me is your younger sister? Yes. And you're just acting normal like you didn't notice what happened. Why is she not happy with me? Sorry, I didn't notice what happened. Really? You did not notice her attitude towards me? Oh, babe, you don't, you don't have to mind Amaka. Amaka wasn't having it before you came. She's <sighs> having issues with my parents and nothing. Babe, you were not observant enough. I know what I'm saying. The moment you said this is my wife to be, her mood changed. My love, trust me. Amaka was already angry before you came. Okay? Don't don't mind her mood. Right? Okay. If you say so. So how's your dad? He's fine. He's doing okay. Okay, tell him I'll be coming to see him this week, um, precisely on, on Saturday. <laughs> Such is so good to hear. Of course, I'll tell him Saturday, right? Yes, okay. Saturday. I'll tell him. And your mom as well. I just want to finalize everything. And you know, um, seeing my dad, it's it's okay, but um, I, I think we should leave my mom for now. Okay, whichever mm. way you want it. Thank you. That's fine. Beautiful. I know. You know, sometimes I look at myself in the mirror. I'm like, oh my God, is this cheesy? Damn, girl, you are beautiful. <laughs> but you are. You are. Of course I know. But thank you. <laughs> and then I already told you I don't like red wine. But because you're selfish, you like it. You always get it for I me. I just want you to get used to my drink. When I get used to your food. <laughs> <laughs> coming from? When I went out. You went out? Yes. And you did not tell me or your father? Mom, I'm sorry. What do you have in that bag? I am asking you, Amaka. What do you have in that bag? Clothes. Clothes? Let me see. Ah, what, what do you want to see? I'm telling you it's clothes and you're telling me what Come on, see. will you bring it? Let me see. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Fast. Who gave you money to buy all this? My brother. He sent me money yesterday. So Your brother to... sent you money yesterday? Yes, mommy. I, ah. can't, I can't believe you. Oh, you think I stole your money? Ah. Mommy, I did not know. You can call him and confirm. Exactly he sent me what money I'm trying to do now. Let me call him first. Yeah. Yo. I don't understand why you don't trust me. Why will I steal your money? Shut up. Mommy, give me my clothes. Mommy, mommy. Stop it. Give me my clothes. Stop that. Give me my clothes. Stop that. What? Oh, you're dragging it with me. Stop it. Stop it. Can you imagine this girl? She traveled from here to my son's house just to beg him for money. Are you not ashamed of yourself? 
I don't understand this one you are saying I travel. I went to my brother's house. Is it required for me to go to my brother's house and ask for money? Is it not my brother? Yeah. I will slap hell out of you if I hear such comments from you again. Amaka. Daddy. Did I tell you I will not give you the money you requested from me? You did not. Mommy said you are not going to give me the money. So that was why I went to my brother's house. Yeah. What did you use the money to do at the end of the day? To buy this nonsense in the name of dress? Look at them. I bet you, you will never set your eyes on them again. Oh, will oh, you stop that, Amaka? Oh, oh, oh. I get inside. Get inside. Get inside. I'm not hearing him. Will you get out of here? Useless girl. You see? Let me see those clothes. Uh, no, I will not even show it to you. I'm going to bomb all of them. This story about Jesus' fiance is gradually becoming a reality. If a man can take a woman to such a shopping, then he is seriously in love with her. No, this is not happening. No. Why was she staring at me like that as if she was reading my mind? I picked that up again. Okay. Why was she staring at me like that as if she was reading my thoughts? I don't trust that Tessie. She is a chameleon. And I am beginning to suspect her. I have my eyes on her. So how was work today, Daddy? Well, work was fine. And you're sure you did not stress yourself again? Ah, come on. Work is always stressful. But as you know, your dad has the capability to withstand the stress. Mm. <laughs> I know, that's my father. <laughs> Daddy. Yes. There is something I want to talk to you about. I promise I won't take your time. I'll be very brief. Please. Jesus. I hope it's not about your mother again. <laughs> Come on, Dad. Does everything have to be about my mom? No. It has to do with a guy I met. I met him while I was on my industrial training. And he has asked me to marry him. And I said yes. He, he wants to come see you this Saturday. This coming Saturday? Yes, madam. Hmm. Now tell me, where is he from? He's from Amako. Amako. Hmm. What does he do for a living? He is a businessman, Father. He deals on industrial materials. Building materials. It's alright. Let's uh, wait till he comes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Father. You like him. Really? He's a very nice young man. Like I said, let's wait till he comes. <laughs> <laughs> So what are you watching now? Huh? <laughs> this program again. Talk to her. This girl is becoming something else. I told her I would not give her those clothes again. It's okay, mommy. I'm sorry. Okay? Please. Forgive her on my behalf. This girl you're saying, she's still a baby. Who is a baby? How old is she today? <laughs> you are calling her a baby. <laughs> Uh, mom, mom, it's okay. No matter what, she's still a baby. Hmm? Amaka, Brother. you have to know the kind of clothes you buy for yourself. Stop buying those skimpy wears. You see, his, his mom is not happy about it. You should stop. 
Buy responsible clothes, like this one you're wearing is, is responsible, not those skimpy ones. Okay? Okay, I'll pay you. It's okay, I'll make sure she gives you back the clothes. But you're not wearing it out, you wear it at home, not out. You don't wear those skimpy clothes out. Right? Okay, thank you. And now, what would you want to eat? Let me prepare something for you. Okay. You're fine. I'm not hungry. Maybe next time. Next time? How can you not eat anything? Fine, I just ate. It's not, not quite long. Uh -huh. Damn, my son. What are you still waiting for? You ought to have married by now. Eh? Or if you're finding it difficult, I can help you get someone. Oh, don't worry, I'm, I'm on it already. You're on it already? Exactly what you told me the last time I came to your house. You're on it. Right. I want to carry my grandchildren. Mom, I'm more serious now. I'm on it now. You're on it, Dan. Yes. Please, you have to do fast. Do fast and get married. I, I just need to carry my grandchildren. Are you going to possibly be my Mechion, shut up. Ah, Dara, my sister. <laughs> You're welcome. My big prank. So, Thank you. Yeah. And so, how are you? Yeah, good, good. So what of you? Your children and your husband? As you can see, we are fine, we're doing very well. What about your daughters? It's like they are not around. Oh yes, they went out. Oh. You're welcome now. Ndidi, how are you? I'm fine. Uh, Ndidi. Yes, sir. Go and get us something. Okay, sir. Whoa. Because when you move like this, you are just like the proverbial toad. He doesn't move in the day for nothing. <laughs> At least you will understand by the time I start or finish. Okay, tell me. Okay. I will go straight to the reason why I am here. Yes, I have been very disturbed over this issue for a long time. Really? Yes, brother. What could that be? Brother, it is high time you got yourself another wife. Look at the girls. Even as I speak to you, you are alone. They are all grown. They will soon be married. And they will leave you for their husband's house. Brother, you and I know that you need a male child. Somebody that will carry our lineage when you are gone. Thank you, my sister. You are not wrong in your thoughts you know you're not far from the truth however i i have remained single for a long time because uh, of the ugly experiences i had with the three women i married in the past uh, the last one that would have given me a little bit of reprieve died during childbirth so to tell you the truth, I, I am a little bit scared of remarrying. That's the truth. Chief, I totally do understand. But I also want you to understand that it's not your fault. You understand? Let's be honest. You need a male child. Someone that will be able to carry this name on when you are gone. You will not say because of the ugly experience. Then you will give up. No. As a matter of fact, I will advise you leave the ugly experience behind and focus on the future. Hey, 
tongs of paper. woman that will be there and you understand you know the values of being a wife that will make a good wife for you it's all right uh, i've heard you hmm? i've heard you um, i will give it a thought okay that's a big relief i'm pleased to do be quick too about it I will. Eh? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Baby, talk to me. What's going on? Excuse me. Please, 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 please. I'm not here for that. You know, the way you call me baby these days, I don't get it. Anyways, I came here to say my mind. I mean, a piece of my mind. Oh, really? Baby, what is it? Talk to me. What have I done? This nonsense we are having is over. I'm done, like done and dusted. Baby, what are you talking about? Why do you about? keep calling me baby and now you're getting me irritated? Why do you keep calling me baby? Because you're my baby. You know, this baby you keep calling me is really getting me irritated. You keep opening your mouth, baby, like a silly fan. What is wrong with you? Now you listen to me. This nonsense, it's done and dusted like I said. It's over! Lucy, what are you talking about? No, tell me. How long have we been dating? A year? Nothing meaningful has come out of it. And you tell me I'm your baby. Do you know the definition of a baby? Do you know? Can you stop this joke already? No, all I'm good at is opening my leg like what? The expressway. I am done with this nonsense. What's this? Oh, oh please! Come on, baby, now. Can you stop calling me baby? I don't like it coming from you. Can you just listen to me? Listen to you? If you want me to listen to you, come and see my father. We have to talk first. Let us talk. We have been talking for over a year. Yet, nothing meaningful came out of it. So if you want us to talk, you know what to do. Don't. If you touch me again, I will punch your face. He goes. She's so evil, like a viper snake. Her heart is bitter, and she don't even care for nobody. She is sneaky, sneaky and creepy. She takes you on night. Do you know sometimes I just, I just feel like I'm the luckiest girl. Yes, I do. I mean, Dan, Dan is such a nice. It gives me this, this fulfillment. It just feels like I have gotten everything I ever wanted in life. Dan is such a nice young man and he just basically does everything effortlessly to make me happy. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. I mean, look at how you're glowing, smiling. Oh, Dan, 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 Dan. Thank I'm happy you. for you. Finally, it's not like that's your useless ex. I beg, 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 I beg. Which one the ex? They're talking good story. They're talking about the living. You're talking about the dead. Which yes, one is ex? Smile on your ah, face now. My darling, did you see the things he bought for me the last time? That <laughs> is rich. The kind of money Dan spends at that shopping mall. Like he practically bought the whole mall for Are you. you yeah. Do you know at a point I was like, okay, baby, it's okay. Can we leave this for some other day? At least hey. you can come back to me. He was like, no, I want you to pick the whole shopping mall down. Oh, my darling, he was... Ah. I see what you're doing for others. So. Mm -hmm. At least this your grace now is going to flow down to Sister Lucy and I. And we'll find our own perfect gentleman. Amen. But my sister, mind waiting you, the God went. Oh. They mind. <laughs> no, no, no. I tap into this one because Dan, from everything you've been saying, he's a nice person. Mm, yeah, he, he showers you. He is, he, is, he, is, he is everything. I don't think I need any other man. I don't think I need any other. Th even when I with my sister, I don't think I need Una again. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, I do love him. 
He's a good man. And I just thank God for his grace. He makes me happy. I'm happy, you're happy. Thank you. Girl! <laughs> All right, so, tomorrow, Jesus' fiance will be here to see daddy. That means both of them might get married pretty soon. And I, Lucy, will still remain in my father's house. Never. All her bragging and praises will come to reality. Do you know sometimes I just I just feel like I'm the luckiest girl to Yes, I am telling you. Dan Dan is such a nice one. It gives me this this fulfillment. It just feels like I have gotten everything I ever wanted in life. Dan is such a nice young man and he just basically does everything effortlessly to make me happy. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. I mean, look at how you're glowing, smiling. Oh, Dan, 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 Dan. Thank I'm happy you. for you. Finally, it's not like that's your useless ex. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Which one the ex? They're talking good story. They're talking about the living. You're talking about the dead. Which yes, one is ex? Yes, smile on your ah, face now. My darling, did you see the things he bought for me the last time? Guys, the kind of money Dan spends at that shopping mall. Like he practically bought the whole mall for I you. I, yeah. Do you know at a point I was like, okay, baby, it's okay. Can we leave this for some other day? At least hey. you can come back to me. He was like, no, I want you to pick the whole shopping mall down. Oh, my darling, he was... Ah. I see what you're doing for all that. So. Mm -hmm. At least this is your grace now. It's going to flow down to Sister Lucy and I. And we'll find our own perfect gentleman. Like them. Amen. But my sister, mind waiting you, the God went. No. They mind. <laughs> no, no, no. I tap into this one because then, from everything you've been saying, he's a nice person. Mm, and yeah, he, he showers you. He is, he, is, he is everything. I don't think I need any other man. I don't think I need any other. Th even when I with my sister, so I don't think so I need another again. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, I do love him. He's a good man. And I just thank God for his grace. He makes me happy. I'm happy, you're happy. Thank you. Girl! <laughs> I have always known that Tessie must not be trusted. She must have shared our discussion with her cheesy. They were almost mocking me. Hmm. Cheesy. You think you are a child of grace while I am not. Okay. We shall see. She's so evil, like a viper snake Her heart is bitter, and she don't even care for nobody She is sneaky, sneaky and creepy She takes you on her way, and she feel no remorse Cause she is so dangerous, dangerous, dangerous oh, yeah. Her heart is bitter, dangerous Dangerous. She got no human sympathy. Dangerous. She has dangerous. no atom of love. Oh, oh she's so dangerous. 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 Hey, so dangerous. Hey, what kind of human? We we'll have the mind to betray her own blood for selfish desires. What sort of human will take her time to plot so much evil? She's dangerous, so I so dangerous. You look amazing. Thank you. Thank you. 
You didn't tell me you were this good. Right. Oh, you are so beautiful. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> Ah, this makeup is nice. It just feels like it's my wedding day. Mm. Oh, uh, uh, I mean, I when is he coming? This is 2 p.m. 2 p.m. What's going on? I am... Um, it should soon be here because he called me some minutes ago. I mean, we should know what this guy looks like, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's so lucky to have this beauty as his wife to be. Oh! <laughs> Madam, <laughs> where is your dress? <laughs> okay, wait a minute. He's calling. I think... Um, I, I, I think you're here. There's okay. no need for me to take this call. Let's just, just, just go and get my dress. Where is her dress? Stand up and get the dress. To answer him. I'm sure that he gates. Just get my dress quickly. You're too slow. That's my problem. You're too slow. Huh? Oh. 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 Run, run, go outside the gates and check if there's anybody trapped outside the gates. Okay, ma'am. My friend, run! Okay, ma'am. Did you, did you see anybody? There's nobody there. Did you check very well? Yes, I did. Nobody there. Sister. You see why I was telling you to pick his call that time? We don't know why he was calling. Oh, shut up! I think you should call him. Yes. Okay. <sighs> Switched off. Switched why? off. How? Oh. I think you should try again. Probably his network. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are you still doing here? Why are you standing here like a moron? Out! I said... Switched up. You want to say what? Switched up. Why? Hold up, please. Can you just leave this place? Not you. Leave here! What is wrong with you? Sorry. It's not like switched off. Switched off. I thought he called some few minutes. Try again. Try again. It's network. Try again. Don't give up that way. You don't have to give up. Are you done cooking? Yes, ma'am. Have you dished the food yet? Not yet, ma'am. Okay, don't do it until we see the guests. Okay, ma'am. Come back here. Excuse you the hell out of me. Where is your chef heart? Are you trying to tell me that you were cooking our meal? With your tacky looking hair? Where is your hygiene? Uh, 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 uh. Idiot! Get out! Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Come back here! Am I the one you were looking at like that? No, ma'am. Were you looking at me like that? Huh? No, ma'am. Idiot! Now get out! Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Hey, she's so evil, like a viper's snake. Her heart is bitter, and she don't even care for nobody. She is sneaky, sneaky and creepy. She takes you on her way, and she feels no remorse, cause she... Yeah, I'm going to go. 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 Yeah
Okoro have been shouting since you're not hearing it. Eh? If you want to call me, one can one fee. But I was now. Okoro. Okoro, why, why, why are you calling my name? I, 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 I'm going to China. Calm down now. As is now, calm down, man. It's only for my fee. One can one fee. You know, for my Okoro, Okoro. I, 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 I'm going to China. Call my name properly, for God's sake. Calm down. I, I, I've had you. You're still making the thing worse, though. You're making it worse by asking me to calm down. Call my name Okoro, proper Igbo boy. At his name, Okoro, Okoro. What is your problem with Okoro? I'm not here for all these things, Okoro. I'm not here for all these things. Well, I, I wanted to tell you that the visitors are not here yet. Did, did you see any? Did you see anyone? Indeed. Do you know you're nothing but a cheap gossip? Was that the reason why you're no. disturbing me? Shut up. Me you pawn the form. I, I slap you back to your matana room. Wait, 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 wait. You left your duty post. To come and tell me that they, were you expecting any visitor? NDD. Were you expecting any visitor? Hey! The one Okoro. Ordinary gate man. You are calling me a gossip. Okoro, I don't have your time. <laughs> but Shut up. I, I, no I, but. I, I, Shut I, up. There is no but. Tell you now. Hold on. I thought, I thought... Um, ah, there I thought that. that. Say it properly. What are, you, what are you talking? Say it like an evil girl. Now same you say, you say. What are you saying? But, but Oga and his daughters are expecting a suitor. Are they not? You see, the reason I always call you is gossip. Cheap one for that matter. International cook, pepper rice. So you left your duty post with your two tiny legs to come and tell me that Oga and her children are expecting visitor. Ngeji bro, nye. Kiji bro, you know Nana. No, sir, I'll see in it. See, I didn't even. No, Wahala. Get out. No problem. All this your oversabi attitude. All this your oversabi attitude. Kin and yam. Moabun did it. No problem. We shall see. From today. From today, Okoro. Kochalia. From today henceforth, you'll be eating half plate of food. Abun, Abun, Moabun. Come, 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 This is the last time that she feels me. This is it for her. I understand how she feels, but I need time to plan my life to her. I need time. Tell me you were coming. Like seriously? Since when did that one start? What if I was not around? I will wait. I will wait. I'll wait for you. Hmm. Yeah. What? Are you okay? Did anyone provoke you? I am fine. You dare not walk out on me like that. You have to answer my question. What is wrong with you? Why are you troubling me? Am I troubling you? Wait, did you just say that? Am I troubling you? It's obvious you have nothing to say. 
They can as well leave now if you have nothing to say to me. Wow! So you're throwing me out of your heart because of that idiot I saw in your phone. You are making a great mistake if you think I will let you mess up my life. What exactly are you talking about? Oh, you are threatening me in my house. Ikena, when I met you, you had nothing. I gave you the contract that made you who you are today. What nonsense contract are you talking about? Do I need to remind you? No! Do I need to remind you? You are very ungrateful. It will take to you busting up disappointing. The day I will set my eyes on that fool. Trust me, you won't expect what you will see. Till now, Jesus' fiancé has not come, and his phone is still switched off. Hmm. What could be the problem? I hope that this girl called Cheesy is really telling us the truth. Something is not alright somewhere. understand what is going on. At least if something was wrong, he would have used somebody's phone to call me. I, I, why, why is he doing this? I don't even know what to say. I don't know what is happening. Jesus. Ah. Have you called his number again? Daddy, his phone is still switched off. She has been calling. That's what we've been doing. The number is switched off. We don't even know what to do again. Mm. Are you sure the first time you spoke with him, you heard him properly? Daddy, I heard him. I heard him perfectly. What I don't understand now is why his phone is turned off. It's alright. Just calm down, okay? Calm down. I'm sure whatever happened, he'll be here before the end of the day. Before the end of the day? Mm -hmm. But do you know what time it is? Daddy, when is the end of the day? It's 5.30 p.m. already and you're still talking about end of the day. When, when is it supposed to, to cheesy, come here? Cheesy, cheesy, cheesy. Are you sure you told us the truth? Wait, are you sure you told us the truth? Are you sure? What do you mean am I sure if I told you the truth? Were you not there when I took his call? Oh yes, I was there. I mean, we were there. But <laughs> We heard just your voice, but we didn't hear his voice. That's the thing. I've been trying to... Try to place it. I don't know. Are you sure? Are you sure? Huh? Jesus Christ. Are you are you doubting me or something? Am I doubting Thomas? Can I doubt you? I'm not doubting you. It's okay. It's okay. Like I said, whatever happened, by the end of the day, we will know. Okay? We don't need to waste our breath over this. How would you be saying such, such things here now? It's not right now. Daddy, Daddy. Look, um, I'll be inside, okay? Okay, Daddy. As we wait for him. I'll be with you right, right about now. This, I'm just trying to, do you know that? People can actually not understand this. This is not the right time for She could be lying. That I was saying the truth, you shouting at me? Do you realize I'm your elder sister? Sister, this is if I conk conk your sense, you will not see tomorrow. I'm telling you. Tell us the truth. I mean, come on, I, I had to put on my best outfit, my makeup, I had to do a professional touch for this occasion. Huh? Look at you. 
tell us the truth. Let's always say the truth at all times. I'm just saying. You know. If I, if, if, if I slap you eh, and sweat, goats. These two, I think they're up to something. But I'll find out. They are not in this house. Where could they have gone to? <laughs> so Cheesy and Tessie are walking hand in hand. They are now walking hand in hand. It's alright. I am here. I am waiting for them. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Dad. How are you? I'm okay. <sighs> How are you? Very well. Um, where are your sisters? They went out. Okay, but are you aware whether she has uh, gotten in touch with that young man on phone? Dad, I don't know. Dad, I think you should call Cheesy to order. The young man in question might be fake. Yeah. You see. How could you just conclude like that? Huh? Dad. Look, it's possible that um, they had some issues. Or something happened on their way to this place. What if it's all a charade? What if there is no man? You might never know, Dad. You might never know. What if she's not telling us the truth? What do you mean by not telling us the truth? Hmm. What truth are you talking about? She is the Give me that. Um, please, um, I I want to see Dan. Oh, yes. My order. Yes. He's not around. He went out with his friend. Um, sorry, but this is friend. Is he a man or a woman? A man. Tessie, I have both lines. I have been calling him. Both lines are switched off. Maybe he has another number that we can reach him with. Does he have another line? Mm, you, 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 you can try his email. Email. If line no go, email. Listen, can I, I, I can't. There's no other line for me to call. I am just going to sit here and wait for him until he comes back. And you cannot wait for him here now. Wait, um, let's go home. How do you expect me to sit here and be relaxed? So see, I'm going to wait for him until he comes back. If you cannot wait with me, you can go. Uh, ma, excuse me. Please. I'll buy it now. Huh? So if you want to wait, you can, you can come join me here. Please. Please. Okay. Oh. All right then. Thank you. Um. This. We're worried. Where have you been with your sister? What happened? We went to his place. Ghost's place. Her fiance's place. You mean 
both of you left this house without telling me or your elder sister? Why? Okay, so what happened? We went there and he was not around. We saw the gate man. The gate man told us that he left exactly the same time he called Cheesy. We waited for him and he still did not show up. His line is still switched off as we speak. And talking about Cheesy, where is she? She's outside. Outside doing what? She's not herself. She's... I think you should even talk to her. I don't even know what to say. Wait, wait, wait. She's not herself that you left this house. I wouldn't have allowed her to leave this house if she wasn't cool with herself. Mm. Huh? Now go and get her for me. Go and fetch her. I need to be all by myself right now. I, I, I just need to clear my head. Please. Come and see him first. Tessie, can you just do exactly what I told you to do? Tell him I need to be by myself. Cheesy. You need to take things easy. At least by tomorrow we can find out what is really going on. Just tomorrow. Calm. Tomorrow. What if he doesn't show up tomorrow? How do we find out what is going on? How? Are you wishing that by tomorrow we'll still not hear from Tessie, him? Tessie, you've seen how everything has played out. Please, just... Just let me go, please. the whole of yesterday I, I couldn't get you on the phone is everything okay i'm sorry about that we got attacked by robbers yesterday they shot me what yeah boss it's goodness. not really that intense these are treated oh my god i'm so sorry i i i, I didn't I didn't know i just i kept calling the phone and it was saying switched off they, they robbed us everything everything <sighs> I was lucky to have this car with me. They tried to move it, but you know the security sort of left it for us. Oh. Um, meet my friend Jazzy. Oh hi, you're Hello. you're welcome. Thank you. I'm truly sorry. My bad. Please, you guys should come in.
his fiancée is here at last. You're joking? I'm not joking. He's downstairs. Lucy, you need to see this guy. He's so handsome, he's so fresh. <clears throat> come down, hurry up and come downstairs, okay? Mm. I'll be with you in the room. Mm. Hurry up, you need to see him. Mm. He's very handsome. <laughs> now she will start bragging all over the place. Why is she not picking up our calls now? Eh? She's no longer for you. She has even switched off her phone. What kind of thing is this now? Eh? Lucy, why are you doing this now? Eh? I think I'll have to go to her place and see her parents that she wants. Cheers, man! Cheers, cheers, cheers! <laughs> Congratulations to you, bro! It is a done deal! <laughs> Woo! 
The next mm. thing now is to commence with the marriage plans and uh, no time. So quick? Uh-huh. Do you so know, know. Uh, my, my mom has been on my case to get married. And this now that everything is settled, <laughs> what else am I waiting for? This man! Are you this desperate? Uh-huh. Uh, there's no time. Same goes to you. You have to start getting ready. Hey, I'm not going to get man. Let me shock you now like high tension. I have started my own already. <laughs> uh -uh. Mm. So you've started hiding things. Mm -hmm. At least I'm very transparent now. If you have someone now, you should tell your friend now. Brother man, all thanks to you, bro. As a matter of fact, I owe you a bottle of four cousins. Because I saw something. I saw something that caught my attention at the place you took me. <laughs> Caught your attention. Yeah. How? Who else am I talking about? If not Cheesy's younger sister. Damn! This girl is fine. <laughs> this girl is an epitome of beauty. This girl is just an angel that escaped from heaven. My brother. This girl enjoyed my heart. Brother, brother man, brother man. This girl enjoyed me. <laughs> My brother, me! I'm in love, bro! <laughs> you just saw someone today, you're already in love, Nate Gashish. What name? What a macabre. What a macabre. Did they come back at this game, Joby? Hey! Dan, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I uh, love you much. Uh, do you live around here? Oh, no, no, no. I just came for a business meeting. Oh, okay. Well, what are you doing here? I came to see a friend, but I'm looking for a cab. Okay, well, come in. Let me drop you off. You want to drop me off? Oh, yeah. Why not? Thank you so much. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, can I have your number, please? My number? Yes. I, I want to discuss something with you later. Okay. Exactly does she want to talk about and why didn't she collect my number from Cheesy, her sister? Anyways, until she calls. Uh, 
I'm good. Okay. I'm very sure you're surprised why I'm here. Well, not really. Okay, that's fine. I came because since the last time I visited, you promised you were going to call. You never did. So I had to come back myself. Yes, I remember. Um, I didn't call because um, I still need more time to think about this issue. Yes. Chief, what time again do you need to think about this issue for? Eh? Time they say wait for nobody. Eh? The earlier you do this, the better it is for our family. My sister, I need the whole time in the world to think about this issue. Yes, and there is so much to think about. As a matter of fact, this issue is not tops in my scale of preference. So, let me think, because I've not even made up my mind as to whether to marry another wife or not. So give me time. Are you saying you want to end up without a male child? I never said so. I have not told you that. Let me understand what you're saying. Look, I need a male child, yes. But I, I need to be careful. I want to thread with caution so that I don't make the mistakes I made in the past. Okay? Moreover, my daughter Cheesy is mounting pressure on me to bring back her mother. What? Chief. Wait. You want to bring back who? Christy? The woman that almost killed you. Did no, I... no, 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 no. She cannot come back to this Did house. Did I tell you I am bringing her back? Did I tell you that? By the way, why is it that you you trying to raise your voice at me? I'm not raising my voice. The whole thing is this. Uh, what are you talking? We're only two here. Look at you. What is it now? My point is that you do not allow your daughter. Don't allow your daughter to deceive you. That is my point. A woman that almost killed you. You want to bring her back to this house? It's why? okay. It's okay. I didn't tell you I'll bring her back. It's okay. I don't want this discussion to continue. All right? The one thing I can assure you is that if I want to marry another wife, you'll be the first person to know. Okay? If I don't hear from you, trust me, I will come back. Because we need a male child to continue our lineage. It's okay. I've heard you. You're well at too much. Drink. Uh -uh. This is not my wife. I'm not getting married yet. You're well, eh? I want to have a... Look at me, I don't want to have you. What's skipping? Huh? Why are you going to? Oh. I'm meeting Dan's parents today. So he's coming here to pick me up. Mm. Yes. <laughs> no, you did not tell me. I am sorry. It skipped my mind. So sorry. if I did not ask you, you will not tell me. It's because I'm asking you now, you're telling me. I just said it skipped my mind and I'm sorry. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Tessie's going with you. No, I'm not following her. She's going alone. She's not. Okay. It's okay. Sorry. <laughs> what is keeping me? We ought to have been here by now. You should be on this way. Relax. Relax. I can't be relaxed. This is my D day. I'm getting with this parents like I'm nervous. <laughs> oh my god. Should I call him? Okay. I won't call. I just um, I should maybe call his other night. Relax. Okay. <laughs> I relaxed. <laughs> Dad, she's the one. I see. <laughs> Her name is Cheesy. Oh, Cheesy. Cheesy, meet my parents. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. You're welcome, my Thank daughter. You. You're welcome. Thank you. Ah, 
She's fine. Yes, my my mother is fine. Uh, Rose. <laughs> Let's welcome our visitors first. Huh? This discussion can come later. It's okay. Excuse me. I'm coming back. You are welcome, my dear. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. So you have a really nice place here. Oh, thank God. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <coughs> the dining is set. Uh, let, let, let's go inside. Da. Okay. Uh, okay. Cheesy. Okay, let's go inside. So, ah, really, really hungry. Mm -hmm. All right. How could you have done that without informing us? But mom, there's there's nothing there. This is like the early stage. Yes. Everything is wrong with it. What do you know about her family? Tell me. She, she's from a good home, mom. She's from a responsible family. Mm -hmm. and, um, her father is a nice man. Of that I'm very sure. Have you seen it? You keep talking about her father. What about her mother? What do you know about her too? She's the one you should focus on because most girls are true colors of their mother. Well, mom, you know, this whole thing is a gradual process. I can't know every every member of their family just, just like that. I have to take it easy, okay? So besides, um, she's the one I'm getting married to, not, not the mother. Okay, I but I know she's from a good family, mom. And the girl in question is a nice girl, like a homely girl. She's responsible. Hmm. I hope she's a nice girl, as you said, because I don't want us to make mistake. Eh? Mom, she is. Trust There's me. There's this strange feeling I have. I can't explain it. Maybe I set my eyes on her. So try to be sure of what you're saying. Mom, I'm, I'm very sure of what I'm saying, okay? I think you're having that feeling because I didn't tell you before going, but overall, she is the kind of girl you definitely like in the future. I she believe. knows how to cook? Yes, yes, <laughs> very well. As a matter of fact, I'm going to invite her one of these days to come cook for you. Are you sure? Mom, don't be scared. It's okay, no problem. <laughs> so, Seems your mother doesn't really matter. Seriously. I don't know, but there were certain questions she was asking me. I don't, I don't really feel comfortable. No, no. My mom is just being curious. That's, that's all. She's just, you know, as a mother, you know. She even asked me if you know how to cook, if you know how to do laundry. You know, just um, in general question coming from, <laughs> coming from a mother. And what did you tell her? I told her the truth. Which is? That you don't know how to cook. Are you crazy? What is wrong with you? How can you say that to her? That's not right and you know it. You look so beautiful with this your expression, seriously. <laughs> you know what? I'm definitely going to talk to my father about this when we get home. So what are you going to tell him? You want to hear? Mm -hmm. Come closer. Okay. I don't bite. Come closer. Okay. <laughs> Did Cheesy tell you when she will be back? No. 
She hasn't called me. She said that she was going to call me and... Must she tell me everything? Must she tell me everything? <laughs> Very well then. Tell me what you've been discussing with Cheesy about me. I don't understand. How do you mean you do not understand? Are you blind, deaf or dumb? Which of them? You do not understand. Huh? I want to know. What have you been discussing about me with Cheesy, my younger sister? I have not been discussing anything about you, Upa. Nothing. You know, in recent times, I notice you've changed. Uh huh. I have come to realize that. Cheesy avoids me unlike before. I mean, she, she, she would have told me that she was visiting her fiancé, but no! She did not tell me, rather she told you. Sister, I am not Cheesy. And I was not the one that told Cheesy not to tell you that she was visiting her fiancé. She doesn't have to tell me everything. Brother. Brother, go, go, go. Mm-hmm. You know, I told you something in confidence. Then you went to tell Cheesy. Va va voom! You sat down and you discussed everything I told you. You went to tell her in black and white. You didn't miss your words. You told her everything. And now you are telling me that you did not tell her anything. You think I'm dumb like you? Hmm? See, Lucy, I feel you are taking this joke too far. I don't understand what you're saying. Joke! That's the word. I never remember telling you that I was a stand-up comedian. I am not AY or basket mouth. Since you are denying that you didn't tell Cheesy anything, not to worry. Very soon, soon and very soon, the truth will be revealed in your faces. Now get out this minute. It's not why you call me. Shh! Get out! I think that was the reason you called me to shut up in your soul. You said something? What did you say? I hear you! What did you say? Dumbass! She's so evil, like a viper to me. Her heart is bitter, and she don't even care for nobody. She is sneaky. Sneak and creepy, she takes you on away And she feel no remorse, cause she is so dangerous Oh hey, heart is bitter There is something I've been longing to tell you Now what is it? Is it not proper for us to make inquiries concerning the family our son is about to marry from? Are you saying that dad cannot take up such act if need be? Meanwhile, you had his response the other day you say something that relates to that. Uh, yes, but Dan telling us that the girl is from a good family is not enough. There are many things from that family that he doesn't know about. I think you have to talk to Dan concerning that. He is in a better position to make such inquiries. No, you talk to him. That is why you are his father. Okay, I will discuss that with Dan. Hmm? In that case, let us suspend every other arrangement until he is done with the inquiry.
it from her. Take it from her. You carry it from her. You, 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 you. I'm not going to. I am not going to. I will kill you. You say you love you. I will kill you. I will kill you too. Don't worry. Damn it. Talking about her father. What about her mother? What do you know about her too? She's the one you should focus on because most girls are true colors of their mother. Chizzy has refused to tell me anything about her mother. Each time I ask her the reason her father divorced her mother, she bring up issues. She's trying to hide something from me. She's not being transparent. I, I can sense it. I... Hey, she's by darling. So, can we head to the dining table dinner? Is set. I want us to talk, please. If you don't mind, can you can you come with us? Ah, oh, darling. We can have this talk after dinner. For now. Let's head to the dining table and meet something really, really nice. Come on. Something wrong? No. Okay. <laughs> so, let's go. Oh, God. I can't raise the matter again because... She was busy telling me other things. Now she's asleep. I can't, I can't just wake her up to, to discuss about her mother. We'll talk about that tomorrow before she leaves. to see you. Who is that? I, I don't know, ma. He didn't tell me his name. He just said he's there to see you. You are a fool. No, 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 no. I said you are a fool. No, 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 no. Get out! I'm going to ask who that person is. Get out! Yes, ma. Her heart is bitter and she don't even care for nobody. She is me. This text message might sound weird and absurd, but do not joke with every word of it. Love is a special thing that happens in one's life, but one should not be stupid about it. Who is the mother of the lady you want to marry? Inquire about her for you to know whether to continue or not. Ask her why her father divorced her mother. What kind of message is this? 
I really don't understand what is going on. One thing I'm very, very sure of, whoever sends this message knows Cheesy very well. Who could have sent that message? What's the motive behind it? Hi, baby. Good morning. How's Max? Yeah, it's fine. And yours? Great. Mm. So, um, why didn't you wake me up to make you breakfast? I didn't want to bother you. <laughs> really? Yeah, I had business calls and attending to you. Okay, but um, you know I'm leaving today. No, you, you can't leave today. Why is that? I already told my people I'm coming back today. You can just call them and tell them change of plan. I want us to have a very, very important discussion. Discussion? Yeah. Good morning. Hi, is um, Lucy in? Uh, yes, she's in. Thank you. I'll see her. Okay. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Um, who are you looking for? Um, my name is Ikenna. I'm here to see Lucy. Lucy? Yes, sir. So, who are you? Uh, well, um... Okay, so you are Iken. Ikenna. Lucy! Lucy! Dad! Please come. Dad! This young man is looking for you. Dad? I don't seem to recognize him. I don't know him from anywhere. He says, he says he's looking for me. I, I think he should be one of these beggars going from one um, house to the other looking for who to help him. I think he's one of them, but I don't know him personally. Nah, I don't know him. Young man, who are you actually looking for? Um, Lucy, why are you denying me in front of your father? Sir, my name is Ikena, like I told you. Lucy here is my fiancée and we have... Are you mad? I'm your what? Fiancé? Have you met me before? Are you talking to me? Lucy, you slapped me. Dad, have I told you that anyone has engaged me? No! I don't... Oh my days! This guy is a criminal, Dad. I, I saw him on TV. Call your security. Call the DP or something. They need to get him arrested. He's a thief. My friend, who are you looking for? Tell me! Sir, we have been dating for one year and she knows I was... Will you keep quiet? <laughs> you have the impetus to tell me to my face that you are dating my daughter? Okara! Is that where you are brought up? Okara! Okay. You know me from where? Daddy, he knows you me. are rich. He wants to come. This guy is a thief. He's a criminal. Get him arrested. Get him out of here. Daddy, call your security. Okay. Call your security. You need to get this man arrested. Okay. My friend, leave before I get you arrested. Okay. Oh, do not fucking do touch Leave! He said leave. Okay. He said leave. Who are... Oh my days, you are a fever! Oh, can I imagine that? You are a fever! Oh, daddy! You need... Oh my god! Who are you? Daddy! Daddy, we need to tighten up the security. We need to tighten up the security. Oh, oh my days! Can you imagine? Then are you going out? Are you going out? You have an explanation to give when I come back. Have you called your people? Oh, well, yes, I called Tessie already. My friend said he likes her. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. 
Your friend likes Tessie. Yes, and he's really serious about it. <laughs> okay, I'll tell her. Okay, please do. <laughs> it's I mean, always it's... bothering me, and I told her this that. So it's really, really serious. Okay, not a problem. I'll tell her. <laughs> so when are we going to see your mother? Um, the thing is, um, my mother is, um, you know, she's always so busy. She has a lot of things to do, too much on her hands. Um, but not to worry, it's not a problem. I'll, I'll put a call across to her and make arrangements and then we'll would pay her a visit. Can you can you call her now so we can go see her tomorrow? Um no. I mean it's I, I can call her, yeah, but we can't see her tomorrow or I mean anytime soon. Like I just told you, my mom is she's busy. I mean she's like the busiest person I've seen on planet Earth. She's um she, she's really busy. Well, it's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll make the arrangements. It's not a problem. We'll see her. Okay? Okay. Can I... Can I ask you... a question? Uh, please, don't, don't be angry. I really oh. want to know. No, it's okay. Um, go ahead. After all, we have to know ourselves, you know? Exactly. Exactly. So, uh, why... Did your dad divorce your mother? What really happened? Um, you know, I, I, I really don't know. I mean, I don't have details, but like I was told, my, my mom said she was tired of the marriage. I was nine months old then. And then she just, she left. That's all I know. Okay, that is what your, your mom told you. Your dad told you. Yeah, my dad said they <clears throat> they couldn't work things out. I mean, things didn't really work out between them, so they had to go their separate ways. So um, you were nine months old when your mother left her marriage. Uh, did she conceive then? Conceive? How? How do you mean? I mean, Tessie, your, your younger sister, she pregnant for for Tessie, right? Oh no! Oh no! Um, thing is, Tessie's mother is different. You oh. know? Yes, my father actually got married to her mother. Immediately, my mother left. But her mother is late. Um, Lucy's mother is late as well. Got married. That, that means your, your dad married three wives. Is that correct? Very correct. I mean, yeah. He had three. He had three wives. I have been meaning to tell you this, but um, I just had it in my heart that, you know, when the right time comes, I was going to tell you everything you need to know about my family, but it's a good thing you ask now, so um, I guess we're fine. Okay. So you said we need to, we need to book an appointment to see your mom. We need to tell her on time because she's always busy. Mm. Yes. And I'll make the arrangement. It's, it's fine. It's not a problem. I'll, I'll get it arranged. Okay. The phone is sleeping. Oh.
What kind of nonsense embarrassment is this? The same Lucy who had been clamoring for me to come see her father denied me in front of the same man. Imagine the slap when I said she was my fiance. I don't understand. I can't comprehend this. What kind of nonsense embarrassment is this? He can now open the door. He can now open the door. I saw him standing here. He can now. If you like, not from now to tomorrow, I am not going to open that door. When you are done, you go to your house. What nonsense. Why is she calling me after the embarrassment that she gave me today? Hello, Lucy. Now you listen up, Mr. Man. Let me not see you in my father's house again. It is over between us. Hello? Hello? Lucy! should delete our contact. You can now open this door. You can now. She might like to hide the truth about her mother from you. But do not worry, her elder sister is the only one who can tell you all that you need to know. Chiz is a pretender, so you have to thread with caution. Like mother, like daughter. <sighs> Who is this person? Each time I call the number, it will be switched off. Could it be that this, this, this person is telling me the truth? She has been keeping a whole lot from me about her mother. What is really going on? Huh? Like mother, like daughter. On the line, who is it? Who is this person? She might like to hide the truth about her mother from you. But do not worry her ever who is, who, is, who is this? Who is this? She is the How are you? So you left your sister all alone in this house and you're enjoying yourself over there. It's not fair. Enjoying myself where? No, babe, she would not understand. What will I not understand? Are you not enjoying yourself over there or not? You know what? Just leave that enjoyment just. Guess what? What? Um. <laughs> okay. Jazzy 
I mean, Daniel's friend said he likes you. What sort of joke is that? No, does it sound like I'm joking? I'm not joking, I'm serious. I mean, he's been on your case. Dan said he wouldn't let him be, that he asked him to talk to me, to talk to you. So, babes, what do you think? Are you serious? Uh, anyway, you know what? I don't need you to give me an answer. This is not something we'll discuss over the phone. When I come back home, we'll talk about it. Okay? Do fast and come back tomorrow. I've missed you. Uh -huh. <laughs> I miss you too. Not to worry. I have so many gist for you. Plenty gist though. Alright, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Jasmine, interested in me. Jesus said it's not a joke. Hey. Hey. Mm, no. Whose whose number is this? Did you call anyone with my phone? I did not. No, I did not. Um. So have you called your mom? Um, yes. I mean, um, I called her number and it was um, not available. Whoa! Daddy boy, daddy man! Uh, <laughs> What's cooking, bro? Yeah, chilly man, chilly, 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 bro, chilly. Chilly, man! Good afternoon. My God, what's up now? Now, which kind of friend you give me like this? Babe, you see that kind of friend that I have? He's just sitting down. No, he what's has the a visitor. A beautiful and a special one at that. And he did not deem it fit to invite me to come around. At least to say hi. Guy, why are you there like this now? <laughs> it's not my No, no worry, my time they come over. Chill. Mind. Chill. <laughs> yes. Baby, how are you? I'm doing well. Kai, and you? I'm perfect. <laughs> you do so well. You're doing well, boys. Oh, definitely. Ah, oh, my God. I'm sorry. Uh, what would you have Man. Damn my God. Now like you know they do like you. Not, I don't know what's up with you, bro. Uh, what happened? You're asking me what happened. So this girl has been here all this while. I didn't bother to let me know. Concerning what we discuss about her younger sister now. <laughs> so, so you're really serious about it. Why are you asking me type of question? You no, know, you're asking me if I'm serious about it? Yes, I know I, I, I joke a lot, but right now I'm very serious. Alright? I'm serious about what I am saying. Uh, calm down, I'm not in fights now. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry. I, I, I'll, I'll sort that out. Come Since on. I know you're serious now. Serious. Get in my man! <laughs> can we cheers? Can we cheers? Can we cheers? Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Thanks, Thanks bro, man. Ah, uh, for talk say, what's up with you now? Not with you again. <laughs> Okay. Um, who was that young man that came in the morning looking for you? Then I don't know who he is. Then what was he looking for? Then how am I supposed to know? I mean, you were there and I asked him who he was looking for and he was being foolish. I don't know. I don't know who he is, honestly. Come on, Lucy. You're not telling me the truth. Daddy! Yes. I mean, how can a grown-up man come to my compound looking for somebody? Not just anybody, but specifically you. How? Uh, Daddy, I don't know him. You know, these young men of these days, they just go from gate to gate and start pe begging people, especially in a GRA area like this. You know, I don't know the riffraff. I don't know riffraffs. I don't know him. I refuse to know riffraffs. 
Loose wraps. Yes, Daddy. It's all right if you say so. But did you want something to drink? No, no, no. Are you sure? Very sure. She is sneaky, sneaky and creepy. She takes you on away, and she feel no remorse, cause she is so dangerous. dangerous. So you think you can be free after letting my wife and I sleep in a police cell for three days? Abi, <laughs> just three days, and you are complaining. You have not seen anything. You see both of you. You have not seen anything. What I gave to both of you was just the tip of a nice bow. You have not seen anything. You pay daily for this. Bet me. You pay daily. You bet. Want me betting? Bet. You're just useless. A useless man. That is what you are. You're just in between a woman's leg. No, not on my watch. I will not take this. Not on my watch. Listen, don't you ever call my husband a useless man again. Really? Yes. Hey! I am with you, me, you, He's a barren woman, barren witch like you. You are just a barren witch, so you don't have to say anything. Do you know you are not standing strong as a barren woman? You are standing with one leg, and if I put you, you go outside. You are just an idiot. Hey! I will not go a prostitute. What are you doing? That's your back. I will not go. I will not business. If I bring you, you are not doing anything there. If I, you are not. For what? What did he do to you? <laughs> three days and you are complaining. Next time it's going to be three months. Don't worry. It's getting to that. Why are you like this? I've never known you to be like this. This is your brother for crying out loud. I'm not saying he's not my brother. If I misbehaved and I disciplined him, Jesus. that is what it is. You are very wicked. No wonder you can't stay in your husband's house. You see, if I and the wife they are troubling me in this house, but it's not going to work. Both of them, I will deal with them. Especially this barren wish who doesn't know her place. You want to chase me out of my own father's house? Oh. Can't do anything. It will not happen. Go, to your Go and build your Go own to your house. house. This is my husband's house. This is my father's house. This is my this husband's, husband's house. house. Husband, my food. You cannot do anything. Barren wish. I will not. What can you do? Nothing! Hey baby, hey baby, please. I beg you, it's okay. I'll be fine. Cheesy, please, please. Talk to your mother. Talk to your mother. Oh. Me, I cannot take this again. I won't take it. I understand. But you all need to calm down. You live in the same house. How long do you want to keep fighting? I'll be fine. I promise this will not happen. I will have a talk with her. Please. This she'll listen to you. Like, I know her, she's my sister, I know her very well. I... Well, one more thing I need to tell you. She goes around, she has numerous male friends. Yes. Like, everyone in this city knows about her promiscuous activities. Yes. I, just let me tell you. Yes. That is what your mother does now. Akonoko business. <laughs> Wait a minute, you, you two are joking, right? I wish. You mean, my mother sleeps with Every yes, yes, prostitute, Akunoko. Talk to her, talk to her, talk to her. I, I, I won't take this, so I will not take it.
Up till now, Chizzy has not told me when we are seeing her mother. I thought she was going to talk about it when she called this afternoon. She was busy telling me another thing. Oh, my mother. Uh, hello, ma. Hello, Daniel, my son. How are you doing? I'm fine, ma. Good afternoon. Ma, please, can I call you back? I'm driving. Uh, please call me back. Call me back and tell me when you're bringing your wife here to spend some days with us. Okay, ma. I, I will. Okay. I'm waiting for your call. Though. Okay. Bye. Okay. It's okay. So what did he say? He said he's driving, that he will call me back. I want him to bring his wife to spend some days here with us. Uh, come, uh, is it arrangement with him or your own arrangement? I've discussed it with him before. Uh -huh. And uh, he promised to bring his wife to spend some days with us. It's a nice idea. At least from there we're able to know more about Jesus' family. Not only that. I also want to make sure she cooks very well because I wouldn't want my son to get married to a bad cook that will warrant him to be eating outside. No. What if she turned to be a bad cook? My son will not marry her. And you think that Daniel will agree with you? Mm -hmm. He has no option. <laughs> yes. I am not happy with what I saw here today. What is going on? What are you not happy about? What are you not happy about? That if I and the wife is, are troubling me in this house. And here you are, instead of standing for me, you are standing against me. Mother, you your know, own mother. Mother, you know I would always stand for the truth. Do you know that? This person you are talking about is your younger brother. Mother, take a look at the age difference. And the wife told me that you slapped her. Come on, mom. That is it. You will always believe their own. You will always believe their story. Ha. Huh. And you will never believe mine. Uh. If your father has poisoned your mind against me, that is why you don't see anything good in whatever I do. What kind of a child are you? Mother, I haven't done anything wrong. Neither have I said anything wrong here. All I'm saying for you to take me as your mother. See me as your mother, Chizzy. You are my only child. Please. I don't hate you. In fact, I love you. And I really want us to be close as mother and child. That is why I bring you good news. A man is asking for my hand in marriage. <laughs> I know that will make you smile. Well, I have taken him to dad and I intend to... You, you, you what? You have introduced him to your father. You have taken him to dad. You are here to see mom. Where is he? You are here all alone. You introduce him to your father. Why did you not come with him to introduce him to me? Did you at least allow me to finish explaining? No, what else is there to explain? What do you have to explain? You have said it all. I didn't choose you as a mother. God gave me to you. I have tried so hard. I have done everything possible to make sure we bond as mother and child. But you never give me the opportunity. Why do you hate me so much? Are you happy just fighting me every time? You're angry that I didn't bring him to you. Have you asked me why I haven't brought a man who is asking for my hand in marriage to see my mother? Do you know the shame? Well, I can see that you have joined everybody. Your father has poisoned your mind against me. Your father is always your number one. And I am nothing. Well, I'm not bothered. Go ahead. Marry whoever you want to marry. I cannot stop you. Just go ahead. Excuse me.
I see I got a lost embarrassment to go in my mother practically threw me out of her own father's house. You see this. Hmm. I'm so sorry. Why is your mother behaving like this? I don't know. Your own mother. I, don't, I, don't, I can't even explain. My issue now is Dan. He has been on my neck about meeting my mother. How do I even take him to that kind of person? How? Are you serious? That means you need to talk some sense into your mother. You need to buy time to, to talk some sense into her. What did I go there to do today? To have a talk with this woman. But no, it was fruitless. I'm just worried because Dan called me to see that his mother is coming over the weekend. How do I... Hi. Huh. So what are you going to do? What's your plan? What do you plan on doing? See, I don't know. I don't know. But please, I don't want Lucy to know about my visit to my mother. This information is just between you and I. No problem. I'm not going to say anything. It's okay. I have another problem. What is that? <laughs> The reports I got about my mother's promiscuous life today. <laughs> ah, my uncle said my mother practically sleeps with anything in pants. How am I supposed to take my man to that kind of woman? I am tired. It's okay. You don't have to cry. How can you tell me to stop crying? I can't even take my man to see my own mother. What am I supposed to do? It's okay. Just calm down. Eh? Why? I don't know why God will give me this kind of mother. Stop, I, I, I still can't explain it. Stop it, cheesy. Did you wash my clothes? No. Then who did? Oh. It's cheesy. Oh. Hmm. Okay. that washed my clothes? Yes, ma'am. I heard you complaining some days ago that you had some dirty clothes but mm -hmm. you were not strong enough to wash them. Mm -hmm. So I decided to pick them up and oh, wash. Oh, you're such a nice girl. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you're you welcome, so. ma'am. Come, let's go inside. Okay. She is tricky, sneaky and creepy. She takes you on her way and she feel no remorse. Cause she is so dangerous Dangerous, dangerous oh, yeah. Her heart is bitter Dangerous, dangerous She ain't got no human sympathy Dangerous, She has dangerous, no atom of love oh. oh, she's so dangerous Dangerous, dangerous oh, yeah. So dangerous Good afternoon Good afternoon What a good surprise how can I help you? Is this Daniel's house? Yes. Yeah, hello. I'm right at your gate. Yes, he's here. 
All right, hold on. Take. Okay, sir. All right, you're welcome. It's after you. Good afternoon, young man. Good afternoon. I can see your ball here. Look, everything is fine. Papa oh. Lover has come to see Lady Christie. <laughs> Papa Lover. <Yeah. laughs> uh, how are you? I'm all right. Like, just thank you. Feel comfortable. See, any day I don't see her, I feel quite empty. I understand. You want to drink anything? Let me see her first. You understand? No, yeah, I just, just want to see my eyes on her. Let me, let me bring her for you. All right. Sometimes I almost have my breathing When I think how much I love you Hello, man. What's happening, you Just shoot! Sounds like I really know! Shut up! Get out of my house! Are you not ashamed of yourself? As old as you are, in good care of her! As old as you are, chasing my women up and down. No, no, no. I take good care of her. Okay, let's talk about it. Shoot! If I see you here again, see this, I'll kill you. Get out! Nah. Get out! Nah. <laughs> Nonsense, she's seen my head up and that one's safe. She just wants some feel at home. This is my brother's house. Somebody. Ah, I don't know. Chief, <laughs> my brother. How are you? Yes, you are welcome. How to the young lady? How are you? I'm fine, sir. Oh, so, ah, my sister, I'm very sorry. I was busy doing something upstairs when I was told that you're waiting, and I told myself, how bad. Why would I keep my sister waiting? Eh? <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, my brother. So how's the family? Well, everyone is fine. Good. We're doing very well. Fantastic. <laughs> and I know you must be wondering, the young woman I came with. Oh, yes. Her name is Tina. Hmm. Tina. Yes, Chief. How are you? I'm fine. You're welcome. Thank you. Good afternoon. Tina is my friend's daughter. She came from a good family. And she's a graduate. Wow. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Well, I decided to come with her because of my last visit. What we discussed the last time I came here. You need a young woman who can bear you a son. And Tina here is a good girl. And she will make a very good wife for you. And that is the reason why I came with her. And I don't want you to say no. Madam, let me see what's happening. the meaning of that embarrassment in there. Embarrassment? How? You're asking me how? Did you tell me before you brought her in here? Did you tell me? I am sorry. Please forgive me. But I'm doing this for our family. You need to get married. You need to be married. 
and as quick as possible. Delay, they say, is dangerous. Age is no longer on your side. Delay is dangerous. Do you have to say all those things right in our presence? What kind of embarrassment is this? I felt so insulted. I'm sorry. Please now. Forgive me, my brother. Please, I'm sorry. Hmm? I'm now, sorry. Now, you go in there. Take her and return her to wherever you brought her from. I am not interested. Chief, you're still angry with me. Your sister, your beloved, or your big one, boot your hmm? Chief, I'm sorry. It's me, oh. It's me, your beloved sister. Look, go and do the needful, okay? Go and do the needful. Take her away from there. I will. Have okay. you forgiven me? asking you this is my father's house what are you doing here do you mean your father's house of course hey anyways i came with my auntie they're hmm. outside really yes how have you been your aunt knows my dad <laughs> <laughs> look at you you look so good you too <laughs> auntie Sit down. Come and give me a big hug. Let me. I miss you so much. Sit down. How are you? I'm fine. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm saying hi. I'm fine. I missed you, my girl. You're looking so good. Thank you. How grown up? Hey, daddy. Uh, Tessie, what's up? I'm good. I'm fine. Yeah. I was on my way out to get something down the road. Okay. Go away. I don't want you to give me money. Money? Mm -hmm. Which money are you talking about? Mm, what yeah. happened to your pocket money? Huh? She has money, you don't mind her. Are you telling me? I know she has money. I want money. Daddy, be giving me money now. Mm. Give me money. I want money. This is very tight. Oh my God. I don't need a future. I should have stayed back to me with school now. Betray her? I can do that. Look, this is not betraying, okay? I just want you to tell me the truth. At least let me know how to present her before my parents. Because I know them. They will definitely ask me so much. Please, just, uh, just tell me. You know what? Let me just think this over. You know, I can just come here uh, it's somehow. It's somehow, you know. It's, it's not cute, it's not cool. Please, please, <sighs> okay? Just, just tell me. Open up and tell me. Okay, tell me about her mother. Why did your dad divorce her mother? Uh, you really want me to do this? Can I trust you? Whatever it's going to take for you to tell me the truth, tell me. I'm ready to do it. Well, my father said she's an infidel she's 
all my days. Why do you want me to do this? I don't want to do this, honestly. <sighs> my days. Please, oh. please, uh, don't, don't really take it like that. Just tell me. It's just between you and I, okay? I just want to know. That's all. I just want to know. Just tell me. Then you have to swear you will not betray me because the only thing I want is you. Okay. I'm a very simple man. Just tell me. I enjoyed a very delicious meal ever. Really? You're a nice cook. Ah, thank you very much, ma. Thank you. <laughs> you see, my son told me so much about your cooking prowess. Oh. <laughs> Keep it up. Thank you. Listen, any woman that knows how to cook very well is every man's desire. Hmm. <laughs> thank you, ma. That's why I always try my best. You're a nice cook. <laughs> thank I must you. confess that. Thank you very much, ma. Uh, thank you. Have you talked to my son today? Oh, well, he was the one I was actually trying to send a message to. I've been calling him. He's not taking his calls. Oh, oh, call him now. I want to talk to him. Okay, let me try again. Let's try. Look, I'm all ears. Talk to me. Hmm? So what really happened? Why did your dad divorce her mother? What really happened? I'm going to spill. It's fine. You see, she's his mother was sleeping around and then she brought a man to their matrimonial bed my dad and her so she was actually doing it on their matrimonial bed on and your matrimonial yeah, bed yeah and my dad caught them what yeah yeah you see that woman is just a public toilet i mean she does it with every and anybody that cares to want to do it she does it to everyone. Cheesy is like her. Cheesy is like her. In fact, she's worse. She is, oh, what? Why am I doing this? Honestly, I'm not supposed to tell you this. Cheesy is my sister. Wait, wait, oh. wait. You, you, you said something about having a um, uh, 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 local bar or something. So she, has, she has a beer parlor. Oh, yeah. You know, that's where she meets her customers. That's where they assemble. So she just does part, point and kill. She can just sleep with this one tonight, in the afternoon, in the morning. She, she's really, oh, you know, and cheesy, like I said, she is worse. Cheesy is worse. Yes, cheesy is worse. I don't think you can condole her excesses. You know, anyone who told you that she is a chameleon, I mean, cheesy, my sister, the person is right, period. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. I mean, I don't know why I trust you. Why do I trust you, though? Why? I don't know. <sighs> well, I don't... I think it's because you're... You have a good heart and you don't want me to make a mistake. I have a wonderful heart, trust me. And I do not want a young and handsome man like you to fall prey to her excesses, you know. You see the reaction on your face? That's why I didn't want to tell you. You're going to... Oh, I'm a terrible person. Honestly, I don't like what I just told you. I feel like I betrayed my sister. Are you okay? I got your back, you know? You know that. Uh, please, why is the restroom? Hmm? What? The restroom. There. Oh, there. There. Okay, I'll just stop. Uh, okay, I'll be right back. Oh, sorry. I'll be right back. You said there? Yeah.
gave me fire in the air country to embarrass my visitors. What is this noise in my house about this? Sister, what is it? If I what gave you the right? What gave you the air country to embarrass my visitor if I Your visitor? Yes! Or your boyfriend? Have I not told you not to bring anybody to my house again? As who? You have a husband. Go back to your husband. Uh-uh. If I I have taken enough insult from you. Okay. I have taken enough insult from you. I've never insulted you. You're the one insulting yourself. Hey. Okay, let me let me promise you something. The next time I see that man, I'll kill him. What? You 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 Then I was completely disappointed after all her sister told me yesterday. I hate it when someone is trying to play fast one on me. Then I am of the opinion that you investigate into this matter properly before you draw a conclusion. What kind of investigation do I need again? I told you how I persuaded her sister before, before she agreed to, to, to tell me what she told me. So who is the person that has been sending you those secret text messages? I don't know. I, I have no idea. I, I showed Lucy the number and she said she doesn't know who owns it. So what are you going to do now? I have decided that I will not ask Cheesy about the visit to her mother again. Let me see if she can on her own talk about it. But if she doesn't, that means she has a skeleton in her cupboard. Mm. Mm. Skeleton in her cupboard. What? Jazzy. Yeah? What is it? The same... The same number has just sent another message. What? Are you sure this person is not monitoring you? I don't care. What I need now is the truth. Take a look. Mr. Dahl, do not take my message for granted. I know that Lucy will hide cheeses through paternity from you. This is my main concern because you need to know who you are making your wife. What? Have you seen it? Man, this is not getting funny any longer. I mean, this person should come out and tell you what he or she knows about this girl. This is just not getting funny. That means I'm going to invite Lucy again. Message after message, message after message. What's the meaning of this? Well, that hasn't really said anything about going to visit my mother. I don't know if he's waiting for me to bring it up. And you've not told anybody about your visit to you your mother in your space. I haven't. But the family is nice. They treated me so well. So how come you have something to talk about when you speak of the, of the testimony? What do you want me to say? But I keep telling anyone who cares to listen, the mother is a very, very nice woman. Oh, yes, she is. So, have you told your mother about them? Yes, I have. We are just waiting for the day when we would pay her a visit. Hmm. I don't know about your mother, but do you think she's going to accept him? Ugh. She doesn't have an option. Of course she will. I doubt that because your mother can be, sometimes she can be very hard, you know, she's a hard nut to crack, trust me. And what do you mean by that? I wish you well, okay? It's okay. Hmm? 
Sorry. Hello? Hello? You want to see me? When? Tomorrow. No problem. All right. All right. Why does he want to see me? What does he want to find out from me again? Well, as for me, I am ready to give him the information he needs. Period. And I'll miss you too. But I'll be back soon. When? Very soon. How soon? Mm -hmm. Pretty soon. As soon as I get home, I'm going to give you a call to tell you when I am coming next, okay? Mm -hmm. I just can't wait to see your pretty face again and mm -hmm. hold you close to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tessie! What is... I'm sorry. It's Just sh shut up! Tan! What is this? What do you mean what is going on? What is going on is what you're seeing now. Tessie, what are you doing in my boyfriend's house? I'm sorry. We are engaged now and we are getting married. Shut the hell up! <laughs> Yes, who, who's there? Tessie? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Fine. I, um, I just woke up. You're still sleeping. Are we not going to see your mother today again? Oh, my bad, um, that's true. Uh, we will. You know what? You just go and freshen up and I'll, I'll freshen up. So stand up. Stand up now. No, I, I promise. By the time you get back, I'll be ready. Okay. Just don't go back to bed. I won't. This is the only opportunity to play my card. You're not saying anything. What do you want me to say? I mean, if I knew this was why you asked to see me, I wouldn't have come. She is my sister, and the secret information about her is private to her. I only say it if she gives me the consent to. I know, I know. I just want to know. Okay. Please, just, just tell me. It's just between you and I. Please. Okay, fine. I mean, there's no need prolonging the matter. Cheesy is not my father's biological daughter. Her mother gave birth to her outside their marriage. And that's why my father divorced the mother. So you see, it's not a big deal. She, my father accepted her back because of what people would say. He had to listen to the elder's advice and all that. That's it. Dan, are, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Are, are you sure? Yes, I'm fine. And uh, 
thank you for for letting me know okay i promise this the secret is safe with me it's fine that's what we do for family it's okay i can have your drink yeah, sure. so where is the mom now mm, mm. she is lucky A viper snake Her heart is bitter And she don't need to get from nobody She is snake Snake and cat What is this look on your face? Are you not courageous enough to meet your mother? <sighs> this has got nothing to do with my mother Do you know, I just I feel like something is not right. I just have this feeling. I don't know what it is. How? How, Jesus? I have been calling Dan for hours. He hasn't been taking my calls, neither has he returned any of them. That's that's unlike him. He has he has never acted this way before. Jesus. Even if Dan is angry with you, we both know the reason for his anger. This is why we need to go and see your mother. Tessie, this has got nothing to do with Dan being angry with me. Listen, I had a terrible dream last night. And in a way, I feel there is... There is something, there is... I, I can't place it, but I just feel like somebody close to me is plotting evil against me. Oh. Why would the person want to plot? Cheesy, I, I feel all these are distractions. Let us go. I mean, we agreed to leave. So why, why are you still like this? Um. <coughs> oh. That. Hello, darling. Oh. My beautiful ladies. What is going on here? Nothing, daddy. Um... Cheesy and I were about to go out and she forgot something. That's it, nothing. Yes, we're okay, um, we are fine. That's true. I, right. I need to quickly go upstairs and change into something better. Just um, <coughs> I'll wait for you outside. Yes, you can order an Uber already. Just Please change back some cheesy and don't change your mind. Mm -hmm. Alright, Daddy. Bye. It's okay. Bye. Cheesy, please be fast. We are late. Well, tonight I have to tell them my intention to marry another wife. I wonder how they will react to the news. I think my sister is right. I need a male child in this family. Are you still busy with your papers? I want to discuss something very important with you. A very important issue. Just briefly, give me a little time. And what is it? Are you not having the same feeling I'm having? Hmm? What feelings are you talking about? It's about our son. He has taken so much time in making arrangements for his wedding. He ought to have fixed a date by now. I spoke with him this morning and he promised to come back soon. How soon is that? Maybe this weekend. 
Let us give him till we can. Then if he doesn't, I will not call him. Hmm? Okay. Our daughter-in-law sent her regards. Oh, how is she? She's very funny. Such a wonderful woman. You can say that again. She's good in everything. Yes. Ah, she's... <laughs> Enjoy my life. Jesus. Leave me alone. Now, please, take her out of here because I'm not ready to listen to anything she has to say. It's Get out of here. Please. I am leaving. Please. Enjoy your life. Leave! Enjoy whatever it is you call it. Leave! Jesus. Let her go. Let her go. Jesus. Go, go, go. And that's for you old man. Papa, no, no. What have I called this? You will die before the time. You better Look be at dead. Look smoking cigarette. Chokes you to death. What man like you that is smoking cigarette? Keep going. Go. Go. Shame go. 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 Why are you making this up for me? Why are you making me share this tears? Tina, I am going to this place. Is it me now? Are you upset? I can't just enjoy it. I can't do that for you. That's not my How are you? I'm fine. Why is your face like this? Auntie, I'm worried. I'm worried. What are you worried about? Auntie, with the way things are going, I don't think... I don't think all this thing might work. I think that man doesn't like me. My brother. Tina. He is my brother. Hmm? And if this will not work, I would have told you long before now. So stop worrying. It will work because I am involved. Are you sure? Of course, I am sure. <laughs> okay. I'm his kid sister and he doesn't joke with me. Hey, Auntie, you told me that you could call my mom. Have you called her? My dear, I have been so busy. Um, definitely, I will try and make my way to your house this evening so I can do it. Okay? But meanwhile, I want you to take this Jesus, eh? Buy anything you want for yourself. 
Uh, Auntie, this money is too much now. You said I should finish it. Finish it. <laughs> one more. Let me know. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> as soon as you get home, just tell your mom. Okay. Hmm? Yeah. Then I will see you at the same All right. Well, mm -hmm. all right. Thank so you. Sure yeah. Yes. She has no shame And she don't even care And she don't wanna know The damages she is causing The cry of a child with a wayward mother Someone who don't want to change She's living a life of disgrace She don't even want to change the pains of a child with a wayward mother Who lives a day to life She don't even want to change What's So what are we going to do now? I mean, what do you plan on telling Danis? Your reason for not introducing him to your mother again this time. Tessie, I don't know. Seriously, I do, I do not know. If he doesn't say anything about our planned visit to my mother, then I won't say a word. Oh. And what if he eventually asks? What will you say? <sighs> Nothing. I am just bent on focusing on my relationship with Dan. And that's it. Sister, why don't you tell this guy everything? Just tell him everything that he needs to know. There is no need of, of prolonging this issue. Tessie, I have a problem. What is that? I remember Dan saying something about ladies following their mother's footsteps in terms of lifestyle. I mean, what if this man finds out that my mother lives a bad life? What do I say? What do, what do I tell him? Cheesy, it's not your fault. It's not your fault that your mother chose that lifestyle. I mean, look at you. You grew up fine. You're the best person I ever grew up knowing. Are you afraid that he's going to leave you because of your mother? Is that what you're afraid of? Tessie, yes, I am afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid I, I don't want to lose this young man. That is the best thing that has happened to me in recent time. I, I don't want to lose him. You know what? I'm not going to say a word to him. I'm not telling him anything. See, Cheesy, I have said my piece. If that is what you want, it's fine. It's okay. I'm not going to pressure you anymore. Where is Lucy? Did she tell you where she was going? No. She didn't tell me anything. I don't even know where she is. Hey, you said you were going to call your boyfriend when you come back. Oh. Call him now. I totally forgot. I just hope he doesn't say anything about visiting mother. Just Tina. call him. Can you just ask what it's... Why has Cheesy been refusing to tell me about her mother? Why don't she want me to know her mother? This is because knowing her mother will expose those things she does not want me to know about her. Especially her true paternity. <sighs> Let me see if she will talk about her mother now. Hello? Hi, darling. How are you? I am not fine. You okay? Hello, Dan? Hello? Lucy. 
Lucy! 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 What's the problem? Sister? What's the problem? I just... I just heard a woman's voice. Sister, it could be his mother, his sister. He, he, just call again first. No, I think the best thing for me to do is to go to his house now. You don't have to go, sister. Just, just call again. Yeah, I said. You better be not what I am thinking. It shouldn't just be. Cheesy. My beautiful daughter, how are you? Yes, I'm fine. I've not heard from you since, so I said, let me call and check up on you. They are fine. Everybody is fine. How are your parents and siblings? Okay. Okay. Take care of yourself, eh? All right. Oh, cheesy. Yes. How is she? She is fine. She sends her regards. Oh, very good. Very good. from dressed like this. Oh, <laughs> mommy, I went to my friend's birthday party. So you abandoned the things I asked you to do in the house and left for a party? Eh? Darling, take a good look at your only daughter. Look at her dressing code. Where's Amaka? Must you dress like this? What has gone wrong with you? Daddy, this is a party where this is what is in vogue and will you okay. stop that rubbish before i slap you now get out of my sight get out let this be the last time you will dress like this in this house <sighs> something is definitely wrong with that girl We have to do something very fast. You have to talk to her. She is your only daughter. Talk to her. Anyway, I will do something about Better. It. Better. So how is her day? Very fine. <laughs> Mommy, why would she ask me that question? I think she overheard her sister's voice before I hung the call. going to call her back. What do I do now? What do I tell her? Hello? Babe, what's going on? I called you, you cut off the call. I was expecting you to call me back almost immediately, but you did not until now. Is there anything the problem? And who's there with you? No, nobody's, nobody's here. It's just me. 
You're sure there is no problem? Yes, yes, I'm, I'm fine. I'm okay. Okay, so um, where are you? Jazz's place. Babe, are you sure everything is alright? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm okay. Please, can I can I call you back much later? Let me just finish up and I'll call you. <sighs> okay. I love you. All right. Bye. All right. Thank you. Have you seen this? <sighs> I shouldn't worry. Tassi, the dream I had last night still bothers me. It's a mere dream. Dan loves you so much, and you know it. And I love him too. That is why I don't want to take chances. To me, you I feel you are so lucky to be marrying into a family that loves and accepts you with all their hearts. Thank you. Thank you so much for always being there for me. Thank you for always being there for me. Thank you. And for your words of encouragement. You're a darling. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Daddy said he wants to see all of us this night. Is there a problem? I don't know. He did not say. Okay, um, and Lucy's not yet back. No. Ha! Ah, wow! This kind of place where Lucy goes, she no one come back. Are you sure everything is alright? I don't even know. I feel that Lucy's been secretive of our whereabouts lately. Hmm. Yes, she just leaves the house, sneaks in, sneaks out. I don't know. FBI, Inspector General, IG. DPO, you now know everybody's movements. I am seeing what I what I know. Auntie, um, why you don't follow her life like that? How do you? <laughs> hey, Tess. Ah, ah. So you've been looking at her that way? Yes. What are you doing here? I see. For what? What is this nonsense? Well, this is from me to you. Open it. You better take this nonsense and get out of my house. Ikena. I am going nowhere. Yes. I am three months pregnant for you. So I am here to stay. Oh, do not be stupid if I do not know what you are talking about. If you think you can blackmail me with this nonsense in your womb, then you must be joking. Ikena, I will not repeat myself again. So I will say it for the last time. I am here to stay. Do not try my patience, for you will not like the outcome. Leave my house now. You can, I can prepare for you. Yes! You think you can ruin my life? I came prepared for you, so you can do whatever you want to do. You can go to any extent. I am not leaving! I am yet to stay! Excuse no, me. Where, where do you think you are going to? Come back here. Where do you think you're going? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for bothering you. What really happened? You came in scared and like someone was chasing you. Did you call my people? They'll be so worried about me. No, I didn't. I didn't call them. Just tell me what happened. I was kidnapped 
It was by the grace of God I, I escaped. I, they will be out there searching every nook and cranny for me. I had to escape. I had, I had to escape. Kidnappers? Uh, yes. Where? I, on my way out of here, they kidnapped me. They kidnapped me. Jesus Christ. I don't know if... I, I don't know. I don't know. I can't even go back home. I don't know what to do. I don't know. They, they might get me again and I will not escape this time around. No, no. It's, it's okay. No, no one is coming here. You're, you're safe, okay? How do I get home now? That's my scare. How do you can, I get You can stay here. You can stay here. Let's get a security man that will take you home. You can pass the night here. You, 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 you want me to sleep in your house? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Let's so get security. Kidnap us. Around here. Oh, God bless you. <laughs> it's okay. God, God bless you. It's okay. God bless you. It's all right. You're safe. Oh, God bless you. Hello? She I summoned you for this meeting with the intention of discussing three of you. Unfortunately, Lucy is not here right now. I mean, since when did she start sleeping out? We have called her countlessly, but her line is switched off. Dad, you know what? I think you should just go on with whatever it is you have to tell us. When Lucy comes, you can talk to her. Um, <clears throat> let me go straight to the point. It's about the woman I'm about to get married to. Yes. Um, you know, it's been a while that I've been single. It's not as if it was actually an issue. But I think uh, we need a male child in this family. Don't you think so? Dad, I don't think so. And do you think this is the best decision? My mom is still alive. Why not get back with her? You guys talk things over, reconcile. As far as I'm concerned, she can still bear you a male child. Jeezy. Mother. We've gone through this before. And I've told you that what you're asking for is practically impossible. I mean, the circumstances surrounding our separation is something that, I mean, we, we cannot redeem anymore, okay? Well, moreover, I have found someone I want to get married to. Are you serious? I'm serious. Um, as a matter of fact, within the week, she's going to come and I will introduce her to all of you. Okay? We've heard you. Good. Um, that is the main reason I called for this meeting. And I want to thank you for your understanding. Have a good night rest. Good night. Good night, Good night. Is Daddy being serious? Cheesy, you should have talked to dad in private about your mother's issue. I'm not bringing it up here. Really? Mm -hmm. Did you hear him speak? Does he look like someone who can be convinced? No matter the time I bring up this issue, he wouldn't budge. His mind is made up already. Don't blame the man. It's the woman that calls herself my mother I blame. I believe by now you must have known Jesus' true colors. You have seen why I call her chameleon. Now it's up to you to make your choice. If I were you, I would go for Lucy or Tessie instead of Cheesy. The choice is yours. By who's this? Who's this person? Who is this person that has refused to disclose? He's on my identity. I'm sorry. I'm... 
I'm, I'm so afraid. I, I, I can't sleep in that room alone. Why? Don't worry, I'll sleep on the ground. Don't worry. I... No, why? why? Why can't you sleep in the room? Anna, I, I saw a very big rat. A big rat, a big, big rat. rat. Yes, it's so big like me. It's so big. A, a, a ghost, a ghost rat, a ghost rat. So I, I cannot sleep in that room alone. Mm. Well, there's no rat anywhere. I saw the, I saw the rat. I'm not hallucinating. I saw a rat, a very big rat. Where oh. did she get the nightgown from? Okay, you can, you can stay here. Then let me, let me stay. In the room. No, 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 no. If you go there, the rat will come here. If you go there, it will come here. I don't want you to go anywhere. I'm so scared. The rat is so big. There's no rat anywhere. There's a big rat. I saw it. I saw the rat. It's so big. If you see this rat, please, I can't stay in no, it's, it's fine. It's fine. You can. Oh, okay. Let me just let me just stay stay on the floor. So, okay. Carol, lie on the floor. It's fine. Just stay on the bed. Oh, rats are in there. There's rats. They're very big rats. Very big, big rats. Yes. Ghost rats. Oh, my. Very big rats. But I also want to. I'm scared. Huh? The pillows. Pillow. Pillow. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm not joking with you, Irene. Go in there, pick your filthy rats, and get out of my house. It can now. You are deceiving yourself by thinking that I will pack my things out of this house after getting me pregnant. I am not responsible for this bastard that you are carrying in your womb. I am not leaving and that is fine now. You better get used to it. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, when you were climbing me, were you not in your right state of mind? Answer me now. Were you not thinking properly? I'm not going. God will punish you. It is you and your generation that God will punish. You are mad. You are it mad. is you and your you family. Are you All are of mad. you. Your God family, will punish you. generation. Listen, 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 very good. If I come back to this house after two hours and you're still here, I swear Why you will not ask? like what I will do to you. Why to ask? You will not like Why what I will do to you. Why not now? Why not now? Why not now? You're not going to. If I slap you, if I slap you, you have to slap me. Oh, Yama, slap me. You, you, can, you cannot beat a woman. Let me go and come back and just stay here. Therefore, you will not like that. Therefore, out of my house. therefore, you cannot. So you can go to the dining while I dress the bed. Wow. Yes. Thank you. And I'm sorry about yesterday. I I'm sorry if I made you uncomfortable. I didn't know what's going to happen this way. I'm sorry. That's okay. I, I understand. Okay, so you just have to. Yeah. 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 I'll just repeat here. <laughs> Be 
How, how was your trip? Sorry, how was it coming? I, <laughs> Why are you sounding like it's the first time I'm here? Don't worry, I'm fine, I'm good. Okay? So how have you been? I'm okay, I'm fine. I'll be right back. Let me just um, get you guys something. Okay. Don't stay too long. Oh, right? no. <laughs> hmm. That phone looks familiar. And I noticed that he didn't want Cheesy to see that phone. Do you know I've been calling my mother? Until now, she hasn't picked up my calls. You serious? Yes. Cheesy. I have told you to tell this guy everything. Bring your voice down. Just tell him everything. It's not like I don't want to tell him, but I. I'll tell him, but not now. Me. Hmm. I said not now. Should I tell Cheesy about the phone Dan was hiding from her? But I'm still trying to recollect who uses that kind of phone. I know I have seen that phone somewhere. <coughs> so what do I offer you? Do you want anything to drink? Anything at all. I'll get you a drink. Okay. <laughs> You left your phone on the couch. Did they see it? No, no, no. Hey, hey. Listen, I, I can't keep I can't keep staying here. There's no exit through the back door. What do I do? Yeah, it's okay, there's no need to panic. I'll, I'll make sure she doesn't enter this room. Okay. She will handle it. Yeah, it's okay. Come. A viper snake Her heart is bitter And she don't even care for nobody She is sneaky Sneaky and creepy She takes you on her way And she feel no remorse Cause she is so dangerous Oh hey Her heart is bitter she got no human sympathy She has no atom of love Oh, oh she's so dangerous Hey, so dangerous Ah, sister, it's back. Hello, guys. How are you guys doing? We're fine. Lucy, where have you been? I've been at home. Uh, oh, I actually went to a friend's place and I slept over. And when I got back, you guys weren't at home. What happened? Am I safe? <laughs> of course you were. We're just worried about you, that's all. Mr. Dan, good oh. afternoon, sir. How afternoon, are you? I'm okay. She's so evil, like a viper snake. Her heart is bitter, and she don't even care for nobody. She is sneaky, sneaky and creepy. She takes you on her way, and she feel no remorse, cause she is so dangerous. Dangerous, dangerous. Oh, hey. Her heart is bitter. Dangerous.
till now chooses to silence over our plan to visit her mother. Which means she wishes I never talk about it again. I'm beginning to detest that girl because I hate liars. Another message with another number. Now that you have heard few of few of some secrets your fiance is hiding from you, do you wish to see her mother or just for some confirmation? You can go there tomorrow. Just pretend you you're a customer. Here's the address. This life. When I beg you and Lucy for a time, people say, Oh, you beg too much. You do this, you do now. You want to use my phone to make call. Who do you want to call? Dan. I haven't spoken to him today. So mm. please can I use the phone? No problem. When are you going to see your mother? Ha! Huh. You have to give me conditions before. Fine. Today. And then Dan and I will go tomorrow, no matter the outcome of the visit. Oh, you're talking, eh? Take, don't worry. You can stay as long as you want on the phone. Finish my etiquette. Ah, please let me have the phone. Aww. Run along. You want to be here while I have my conversation. I don't want anybody to hear my conversation. Run along. Thank you. You know my passport, so... Yes, I do. I opened it already. Hi, baby. Are you there? I am doing fine. Sorry, I'm using Tessie's phone to call you. I didn't have any time on my phone. Mm-hmm, Tessie. Anyway, I just wanted to hear your voice. Okay, make sure you call me back. Oh. Love you. Bye. She has no shame And she don't even care And she don't wanna know The damages she is causing The cry of a child with a wayward mother Someone who don't want to change She's with the yolk <laughs> <laughs> By force? Hmm? Greeting someone, is it by force? Okay, I have to write. Greeted you the other day. Did you answer me? No, you didn't. So please, I beg of you. Allow me to enjoy my marriage. Now. Oh, sir? You know you are very foolish. Very senseless. No wonder you have not given my brother a child. And if care is not taken, you are going to remain like that. Remain barren for the rest of your life. You With are mad. You are mad! It's your daughter that will remain married. And I'm sure that you, you will remain like this for the rest of your life. You will remain single, no husband. Hold on, hold on, stop ranting. Did I tell you I want to go back to him? Yeah! All this for one thing. Biko, Biko, let me, you... let me slap this sound as a warning to you. This is my husband's sound. You hear me? Please, allow me to enjoy it. I'm not going to drag this place with anybody. Hey, Barry. Let me educate you. You say this is your husband's house. Yes, I'm my dear, husband. This is my father's house. Tell your husband to go and build his own house. And my husband inherited this place from his father. Let go me, your husband's Let house. me tell you something. Your husband.
husband has to build a house for his children to inherit. Just the way he inherited this one from that my father. That is your own. This is my husband's house. Allow me to enjoy it. Leave me alone. I am not your problem. You see yourself. Hey, Mary, let me educate you. Let me educate you. Stop ranting. Let me educate you. Do you know the cause of your barrenness? It is your bad character. Your stinking character. Your character stinks. And that is why you have not given my brother a child. You are let crazy. You are stupid. You see? So you are behind me not conceiving. You are the one behind it. You don't want me to have a child for my husband. You have exposed yourself. And my God will punish you. God will punish you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you the reason for your barrenness. Not me. Your bad character. Look Maybe you should shame from your bad character. And God, in his infinite mercy, will remember you. You are the one, you are full of bad character. You don't even know. At least I have I a child of my own. Oh, I have a mother. mother. Ooh, I leave I my husband's house for me. My leave my husband's house for me. My leave my husband's house for me. Anyway, what, what am I doing with you? Just start like your stuff. You. you will not stop me. I have somewhere more that I'm going to. That's your stuff. Come get out. This hey. one. But the, I'm in a good mood. You are lucky. So you will leave this house. I'm in a good mood this one. If not, I would have shown you the stuff I've made up. You know me now. They don't need to tell you who I am. I would have beaten you blue black this one. The cry of a child with a wayward mother. Someone. I hope by now you must have confirmed the truth about all I have told you concerning Jesus' mother. Please, delete all the messages so that my sister will not see them. What are you doing with my phone? Um, shedding tears, alright? Now I see the reason you've been hiding your mother from me, alright? You're just a chameleon. Wait, wait. Don't, don't, no, don't, don't even dare touch me because I gave you all the time to explain this to me, but you never did. Don't, don't dare touch me. Okay, I, please. No, 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 no. I want to be very sincere to you right now. Don't touch me. That's in case you've lost it. Don't touch me. I, 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 I won't touch you, but at least listen to me. Dad, please. Dad. Can I tell you what? Please let me explain. Please answer. Dad. Fake ass bitch. She has no shame. And she don't even care. And she don't want to know the damages she is causing. The cry of a child with a wayward mother Someone who don't want to change She's living a life of disgrace She don't even want to change The pain of a child with a wayward mother Who lives a day to life She don't even want to change Her whole life is full of mess Welcome 
My darling, beautiful sister. Why is your face like this? How could you, Tessie? How, how could you? What did they do? You're asking me what you did. What did they do to you? Tessie, where did I go wrong? Why in God's name would you do what you did? What did they do? What did they do? You just came my sister. Tessie, you were the closest to me. I told you everything about my own life. Why would you treat me this way? What did I do to you? <laughs> Shut up! Shut the hell up! One more word from you, I would sear you into pieces. I would, I would shred you. What is happening? She don't know. She just what came and she What's going on here? Anything. I slapped you because you did nothing. No, you didn't do anything, and I hit you. Uh, 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 well, let me tell you. I saw the message you sent to his phone. Oh. Every message you sent to him, I saw it today. Oh, good. You're asking me who? <laughs> you traitor! Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold right, hold it right there. You just came here and you started shouting, traitor, spawn. What happened? What is going on? What's going on? Why, why did you slap her? Do you want that, right? No, you want her. You want. <laughs> <laughs> sending you those secret text messages? Yes. Because she knew her sister was living a fake life. For God's sake, why would Tessie betray her own sister? I don't bloody care what her motive is. The main thing is that what is hidden has been revealed. I have nothing to do with her again. I will rather marry her elder sister than to settle for a bloody liar. What? Dad, are you alright? Of course, I'm perfectly okay. For God's sake, must you marry from her family? Yes. I am going to marry her elder sister. That way I'm going to teach her a lesson of her life. Can you imagine? Even the man she calls her father is not even her biological father. Unbelievable. I'm glad you're shocked as well. <laughs> Let's, let's go, please. Hey, she saw even like a viper's snake. Her heart is bitter, and she don't even care for nobody. She is sneaky, sneaky and creepy. She takes you on away, and she feel no remorse, cause she is so dangerous. Oh, hey. Heart is Shake. How do you know about all this? That I saw the message she sent to them. I saw the message. It was Tessie's number. She was the one who sent a message to him. But I don't have this person's phone number. I didn't send anything. The only time she was the one that carried my phone to call him and so I don't even have his number. Tessie. You are a liar from the pits of hell. And I swear to God, you would not make heaven. Hmm. You did not send him a message. So how did the message get into his phone? Did the message fly? Hmm. Did it grow wings? Yeah. I'm asking you. You didn't send a message to him. How did he get the message? I, Father, I saw the message with my own eyes. She sent down a text message. 
is the one that wants to marry my daughter. Why was he at my shop? Even my daughter was not aware that he was in my shop. I saw how disgusted he so was stop. about my attitude. Could you tell my wife this? Oh way? God, what have I done? Sister, I'm talking to you. If I, please, please, please. As you can see, I'm just coming back from the shop. I do not have your time this evening. I don't have time for this. I'm very, very tired. Please. Okay, okay. This time, eh? Hmm? Mona must hear this. She has no shame. And she don't even care. And she don't wanna know the damages she is causing. The cry of a child with a wayward mother Someone who don't Why would Dad wake up one morning and decide to lie against me? Who knows I have never called him for one day I don't even have his number And he's always forgiving me Smalley How are you? Why are you still doing it? Everybody's inside. Do you know what I'm Let me ask you a question. Mm. Tessie, did you send Dan a message? Mm -mm, mm -mm. That's not the question. Why did you send Dan such a message? Please, I don't even want to get angry. I said I did not send any message to anybody. Okay, you want to beat me? Oh, yeah, beat me now. Beat me! You are shouting at me. No, 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 no. You, you, you want to shout at me. Look at him. Look at this small girl. Hey, hey. Uh, let me just, let me just keep quiet. I only came here because I thought uh, I wanted to show my consent. I didn't say anything. Uh -huh. And God knows that whoever is behind this would never ever see anything on good. your head. On your head. Because you sent him a message. It was your phone. It was your phone number that sent him that message. Look at you. You are still a small girl, last born. When I was your age, what was I doing? I was learning how to type computer. You are here looking for your sister's boyfriend with this your tiny waist. This waist that I'm looking at, oh, is that you have started doing adult things. Oh, because of the reverse, I used to borrow you. You have started doing adult things. I don't blame you. See, eh? if you try to me, I will slap you. Oh yeah, go and wash plates. I said you should go and wash plates. You are still sitting, you are leaning in the car. I will beat you. Go and wash the plates. <laughs> no, 
I said go and wash plates. What is wrong with this one? I said, you should move. Just listen to what I have to say. What do you have to say? No, what do you have to say? You didn't do what? She said, please, I need Let me just listen. If you say one more word from me, if you say one more word here, I swear to God, I will beat you to a point you will not even recognize your own self. I don't want to hear one more word. Now, take your dirty little silly self out of this room. Jesus, listen, I can't. I cannot betray Jesus. you. It's not possible. Jesse, don't, don't push me. If you know what is good, take your silly self out of my room. Jesse, don't, don't try me. Don't you dare try me. Get out. Jesus, get out from there. Get out! message that you said I sent to you. Please. Look, Tessie, you have confirmed that the number is yours. Okay? I understand how you feel. I mean, I made a mistake. I wouldn't have told Cheesy that you were the one that sent the message. I made that mistake. Okay, so... I didn't send any message. It's obvious that somebody used my phone to send you that message. I... Please, allow me see it. Please. Look, Tessie, let's forget about all this, okay? I'm very grateful here. Deep down, I am grateful that you shared this piece of information to me. At least I won't, I won't make a mistake, okay? Please, let me at least see it. God would definitely bless you for telling me the truth. Let me see the message. You don't need to see it. You don't, you don't need to. You know what she sends, do you? So this is it. Now you are happy, right? No, you are happy, isn't it? It's not what just, you know, think. It's just I keep short. Don't even say one more word. You would not like me. It's not what I think. I just heard him thanking you for sharing a piece of information with him. So what exactly are you saying? So this is what you do. Tessie, tell me what? Where did I go wrong? What did I do to you? Danny, what is she doing here? I'm asking, what the hell is she doing here? I just came to Shut what just came Don't even say one more word. Look, can you stop all of this? Stop threatening the poor girl. She told you everything you need to know. Now she's here to take over, isn't it? Now what are you here to do? Are you here to threaten the poor girl for saying the truth? You want to know what I'm doing here? Yes, yes. What are you doing here? You, you, know, you, you are asking me what I am doing here. I am going to tell you what I'm doing here. I want to give you a certificate. You're getting married to two sisters. How cool. 
beautiful, right? When I tell you, I do not have a problem with you. As for you, I will deal with you. Deal with possible. her for doing what exactly? For not allowing you to deceive me. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Is that why you want to deal with her? She has done nothing wrong. Because <laughs> she told me the truth. Listen, if you say one more word, you know where you're sitting is not a good position. I will slap the living daylight Don't out. even dare. Don't even dare. You said she loved me. And that we were going to be together forever. Is this your definition of love? Do you know what is called love? Because you have no idea what is called love. Love means transparency. That is what it means. Sit here and give me crocodile tears like you know what, what, what love is called. You're correct. I don't know what love means. Just hide everything, literally everything. If you say one more word for me, you must even like me. I don't even want to hear one more word. Marie, what are you going to do? Fight me? I'm asking you, you fight me? Huh? You want to fight me? <laughs> it's all over. You can't deceive me anymore. I know the whole truth. I know that's why you're pained. Sister. Liar. Come here to preach love to me while you have no idea what love is called. I do not see any missing. It's now. okay, don't I tell me. Look, 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 I am grateful here, okay? I am very, very grateful. So you have nothing to worry about. Leave what she's saying. She's just blabbing. Oh, Liar. I understood why she was denying everything. She never knew her sister was going to find out. Uh, how could that be possible when all of them are living in the same house? Jazzy, I would not have found out if Cheesy had not called with her line. Um, come to think of that, do you think she could have given Cheesy her phone? Knowing full well that Tessie has been using it to send secret message to you? Anything can be possible, my guy. She might think I will not recognize the number. Besides, she's needed to call me at that moment. Dan, it is still very possible that um, someone else used that line to send you the secret message. Now, have you asked yourself why she suddenly decided to use her line instead of the first one that has been sent you the message? My man, look, I... I understand you have feelings for her, okay? So don't worry yourself. I am switching to Lucy. You can go ahead and have Tessie or have her or anything. No, Dan, wh why are you like this? No, it's, it's just... No, who is having feelings for her? For God's sake, you are seeing a different thing here. See, I, I really have to run along. I have a business meeting. You can go ahead and do what you want. What I just told you. You're fond of diverting. It's, it's, each time we are saying something serious. I don't, oh, I don't oh, get it. Oh, oh, <laughs> really, I'm crazy what I Please, sit down, please. I, I called the both of you here to discuss something with you. I promise I'm not going to take much of your time, please. Just like, can you just go straight to the point? You can see I was busy upstairs before you called. And I was busy in the kitchen as well. <sighs> I called the both of you to apologize for what I said the other day. What did you say? Um, the, one, the one that I said that Iberi is not going to give birth. Please, my brother, Iberi, please forgive me. I said all that out of anger. Fine. Where is going to give birth to as many children as you want? Please.
Forgive me. I'm sorry. Abby. Mm -hmm. If Heather. Have Do you have anything to say? My love. Honestly, I don't have anything to say. When she insulted me, my God heard. But what I know is that nobody, I mean no one, can harm me. I'm really sorry. I said all that out of anger. I really want children. I want to hear the cry of, cry of children in this house. I'm even praying for you now to conceive. Yes. I want my brother to have children of his own. I want to have niece and nephew. I want them to call me auntie, please. I am sorry. Oh, let's just put all that behind us. I'm sorry, please. Okay. You know, I'm happy you're the one asking for peace. <sighs> my wife and I, we've gotten over what you said the other day. And um you forgive me. Oh, oh thank you very much. Oh, for that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, the very good. Yeah. It's just you know. <laughs> okay. Oh. Thank you very much. Oh. It's okay. Someone definitely used my phone to send that text message. boyfriend's number. I started sending him messages about my paternity. No, tell me! Is that what you want to explain? She said, since the beginning of everything, you haven't given me a chance to explain myself. What am I supposed to hear? I know everything already. What else do you want to say to How me? do you think no. I can do something like that to you, Mr. Cheesy? Mr. I will never, ever forgive you. Never, ever. Jesus. And stop coming close to me. Whatever explanation it is, you have to say. Feed them to the dogs. Cheesy. Don't touch me. Cheesy, if I can't do something like Listen, that to you. If you say anything more to me, you would not like me. I, Cheesy. Ah! What the hell is that? You don't even have to fear. You're touching me. If you come to me one more time, I will deal with you. Why will you do that to her? Who is this? Why will you do that to her? Listen to me. I don't want to see you anywhere. Since you want to take what rightfully belongs to you, you want to have what is mine. I want to see you. Cheesy, please wait. Let me see what I have Shara. to say. Shara, Shara, what are you explaining? She was here. You did not explain. The slap you fell down. You are going to explain. I want to explain. I want to explain. She is Come over here. It's no sense. Claire. Claire. And she feel no remorse Cause she is so dangerous 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 oh, yeah. Heart is bitter Dangerous Dangerous She got no human sympathy Dangerous 
What kind of problem is this? Why has this girl refused to leave my house? What are you still doing here? I am fucking to- I dare you! Serves you right! Let me ask you. Do you think I'm actually happy being pregnant for you? Do you think you're doing me a favor? I am the woman doing you a favor. So get the hell out of my life. Young girl. Oh, she's she's his elder sister. Uh uh, come and greet me. Come. Uh -uh. How are you, my daughter? Very well, man. Oh, you're you very... are as beautiful as your sister. I was just about to say that. Yeah, you're very pretty too. Thank you, man. Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh uh. Oh, so she did come with you? No, she. She she gave us something to bring from. Uh -huh. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. I hope she's fine. She's great. She's fine. Okay. Uh, sorry, I have COVID. Okay. Okay. All right. Mm. Hello. Okay. Wow. Mm. Uh, very fine. Very fine. So you said you you came to do what? Uh, yes. So what is holding you from coming to see your father so that both of you can fix a date for your wedding and traditional marriage? I have been very busy at the moment, but once I'm done with everything, I'll. I'll come to see him. Daniel, this was not how you started this journey. You wanted to do everything immediately. But right now, you seem not to be serious again. What is the problem? Oh, nothing. Like I said, I have a whole lot on my sleeve. Once that is done, I'll, I'll come and see Dad and we'll plan. So when exactly are you going to be less busy? Depending on my program, once... Once I'm done, I'll come. Yeah. It's all right. Uh, tell her to visit us over the weekend. Okay, sure. I'll tell her. Mm. I'll tell her. So you said you're going back today? Yes, I, mean, I must go back today. Uh, why can't you stay back? Even now. I'm living here right now. Um, anyway, there's still time. Uh, yes. I have to drop you. Sassy is still denying having a hand in sending text messages to them. What if she is telling the truth? What if someone actually is using her phone? Who could it be then? Who could have been sending out those messages about my mother to Dan? How many are we in this house?
I understood why she was denying everything. She never knew her sister was going to find out. Uh, how could that be possible when all of them are living in the same house? Jazzy, I would not have found out if Cheesy had not called with her lying. Um, come to think of that, do you think she could have given Cheesy her phone, knowing full well that Tessie has been using it to send secret message to you? Anything can be possible, my girl. She might think I will not recognize the number. Besides, Cheesy needed to call me at that moment. Dan, it is still very possible that um, someone else used that line to send you the secret message. Now, have you asked yourself why she suddenly decided to use her line instead of the first one that has been sent you the message? My man, look, I, I understand you have feelings for her, okay? So don't worry yourself. I am switching to Lucy. You can go ahead and have her. Test your heart or anything. No, Dad, why, why are you like this? No, it's, it's just. No, who is having feelings for her? For God's sake, you are seeing a different thing here. See, I, I really have to run along. I have a business meeting. You can go ahead and do what you want. What I just told you. You're fond of diverting. It's the, it's each time we are saying something serious. I don't, oh, I don't get it. Oh, oh, <laughs> What if Jazz is right after all? Is it true? I got the information I needed, but let me still check the other side of it. If truly someone else used Tess's phone to send the last two messages, then who could be the person? What could be the person's motive? A particular number was used initially, then who could be the ghost sender? Who? Good morning, ma. Good morning, darling. How are you? I'm fine, ma. Um, there is something I want to ask you. Okay, ma. Um, have you ever used um, Tessie's phone to send a message to anybody? Huh? No, ma. I, I can't do such a thing. Okay, but um, have you seen anybody using Tessie's phone to send a message? No, ma, I've not. <sighs> okay, this is what you will do for me. Hmm? Okay, ma. You can go back to work, but while you're at it, just uh, try and think. Think if you've seen anybody using Percy's phone around, no matter who. Just think anything you come up with. Do not hesitate to tell me. I promise I'll give you 20,000 now, if you remember anything. <laughs> okay, ma. I will. All right. You can go. Okay, ma. Thank you. Okoro! Good morning. Um, there is something I want to ask you. Have you by any chance seen anybody using Tessie's phone to send a message? I just need you to think. I mean, if you've seen anybody using Tessie's phone to send a message to anybody. Text message. 
Why are you asking me like I'm speaking Spanish? Uh, no. Yeah. Okay. Yes. 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 No, 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 no. Sorry. No. Yes. Do, do you know what? It's okay. You can just go. Okay. Thank you. No, ma. Sorry. Sorry. There is something I I want to correct. Um, my name is Oko, not Oko, not Fibu, Oko. Okay, I've heard you. Okoro. Not Oko, Oko. I said Okoro. Okay, thank you very much. Yes. Um, sorry for the disturbance. Um, Ma, I, 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 I've, I've come to tell you something about this is for. You remember something? Yes, Ma. Okay. Well, what is it? Um, Ma, I saw her that night hiding in the kitchen with the phone, and she was chatting with someone on the phone. Who? Listen, you, you can talk to me. Don't be scared. I won't tell anybody you told me. Okay? Uh, who, did, who did you see using Tessie's phone? Um, uh, uh, Boma, what about the, the money you promised to give me? Did you listen to me? I promise you. As soon as you're done giving me this information, I will go in, get my phone and make a transfer of 20000 to you. I promise. Just okay. tell me who. Okay. Um, A vibe as make her heart is bitter, okay. and she don't even care for nobody. She is sneaky, sneaky and creepy. She takes you on now, and she. Who be that now? You won't play this game. Uh -uh. How close we are. But where? I, yeah, right. Where? But please. I just need you to forgive me. Cheesy, I don't need your apology. It's fine. I don't I don't I don't want no, it. Tessie, this is not us. I know how we talk, I know how we laugh. I just, I just listen, I have found out the truth. I know you weren't the one who sent those messages to I am to... not interested. I am not interested in the truth. Did, did you listen to all that when I was trying to explain myself? I tried to explain myself to you. Did it matter? No. Please, I don't want your explanation. Tessie, can you at please least... Please excuse me, please. Can you just... I was doing something with I'm not interested.
Hello, Ma. Open the gate. Open this. Who is shout? Ma, please, can I call you back, please? Who's that? Officer, 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 this is the criminal. Take Officer, this is the criminal. This is the criminal that almost that killed me. This criminal. Lucy, so you still have the guts to call the police on me after everything you did to me. You're still speaking English. Officer, why are you standing here? Arrest this. I, this is the criminal. She needs to be arrested now, officer, now. Officer, listen to me. Young lady. This person right here is my sister. Young lady. Listen to me, you are under arrest hmm. and you have every right to remain silent but whatever you say or do will be used against you in the court of law. Officer, I am telling you that this is my sister. She framed me Let's up go. and uh, who is your sister? Move, I'll move you. I'll move you. Move. Move it. Madam. Officer, I don't Respect like this Respect yourself and move. Let's go. You and go. If I see you here again, you know yourself. Criminal. She is what a criminal. What a criminal you are! Answer that keke! And she feel no Answer that keke! Cause she is so dangerous. What rubbish! What nonsense! Heart is beating. Rubbish! 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 Oh, she's so dangerous, dangerous, so hey, so dangerous. I told you that I want that. I want him concerning the lady I met in his house the day I went to visit him. So what happened? Chizzy said she is having problem with Dan because of that lady. He's having problem with uh, Chizzy. Is that the reason he refused to visit us? At least to tell us his plans about his uh, wedding. I'm sure the lady is her elder sister. She is that particular lady I met on that very day. You needed to see how Chizzy was crying on the phone. Wait, so did she tell you why Dan left her? She couldn't say anything because she was crying all through. She said that Dan left her because of her elder sister. And I'm sure it's that girl, that particular lady I met that day. Okay, I will pressurize Dan to come back. Better do. And I will pretend I did not hear anything at all. Anything you can do, just do it. Call him to order, please. I will huh? do it. I, will I don't do want that girl to be crying like that. I will do that. It pained me. Is it true you arrested Jesus? Why? See your mouth. Are you qualified to ask me that question? What sort of question is that? Yes, I did. Lucy! Hey. Lucy! How could you do that? Why would you arrest your own sister? Dad, the question would be, what did she what what did I do? I didn't do anything. That she used a padlock and hit my head. I, 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 I became unconscious. She, you, is it you? <laughs> uh, no worry. I didn't watch you. Look, she told me what you did that made her fight you. Huh? But how could you be that heartless to your own sister? Auntie, what did I do? Hmm? Cheesy. Give me that phone. Dad, let me bring out the video. Video Mommy, this is what you did. This is it. Give it to me. Take father. Ah! You see? You see? So it was you. You framed me up. You made Jizzy humiliate me. You are very wicked. You are heartless. You shut up. It will never be well with you. Shut up! Just shut up! You still have something to say after this? Huh? Dad. See, 
it's not my fault. Dan only asked me about Cheesy's mother, and I just had to tell, tell him the truth. That, that's all. Whose truth are you talking about? The truth. Whose truth? Huh? The truth. Okay, you know how to say truth. Why didn't you use your phone? Do you have to use our own? You are, you are very wicked. You are evil and it will not be well with you. God will pay you back for this evil that you did to me. It shall never be well with you. You are very wicked. Will you shut up your dirty mouth? Take you shut up, you're still talking. Idiot. Uh, so please calm down, okay? I will get to the root of this matter. Hey, she's so evil. Like a viper snake. What is going on, Dan? We've not heard from you concerning the woman you brought to us here. Dad, no need beating around the bush. You see, there are informations I need to confirm about her before forging ahead or knowing what to do. What kind of information are you talking about? It's about her mother. I was told that her father divorced her mother due to infidelity. And now she's almost living that kind of life. I mean, prostitution, you know, so. So I believe that is not the kind of woman you want me to marry her daughter, right? Dan, tell yourself the truth. You are now looking for excuses against Chizu because you have interest in her elder sister, isn't it? Mom, that is so wrong for you to say. The information I got from Chizu, she said her elder sister is the one giving you those fake information just to bias your mind. Forget about whatever Chizu told you. That girl is a chameleon. Okay? I'm telling you now as your son that this is the information I got. And I think that is true. I want to see her. It's fine. You want to see her. Meanwhile, we are going to see Jesus' father first. Get ready, we are going there too. Okay. Dad, that honestly, this whole thing is not my fault. Dan loves me and I love him too. I mean, we're, we're in love. Ah. Lucy, you are a beast. You are a beast from the pit of hell. And I promise you, you will never ever see anything good. You are the beast. You are the beast. You are the one that will die and you will die and you are the one that will die and you will die. Yeah, 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 Bastard. How dare you? You bastard. You will never ever see anything good in your life. Never. Idiot. Because I'm going to put you in You want to touch me? Try it. We're going to beat you. No, you want to touch me? Try it. What's wrong with you? Just try it. Accompany me to my husband's house. Husband's house? What are you going to do? I want to see my daughter. And I cannot go there alone. I don't want to go alone. Sister, it's been 10 years since you left your husband's house. Why not invite your daughter over here? You can meet her here. Fine, it is beyond what you're thinking. I want to go there, I want to visit there. Well, it still doesn't make any sense to me. Except you are going there for something that you are yet to tell me. Fine, please. Just accompany me there. You know you stand like a father now. If Papa was around, I would have asked him. You're like a father now. Please. 
I don't have any choice though. I'll play. Yeah. We'll go. We'll go. I'll tell you everything. Get out. Thank you very much. Please. Don't go. I'm begging you. I'm sorry. Please now. What do you mean don't go? You asked me out of your house and your life. Now I'm leaving. You should be happy. I want to leave your house since you don't want to own up to your responsibilities. <sighs> But I promise uh, you. Uh, uh, please, please don't say anything further. Please. See, I'm sorry for the way I've maltreated you all this way that you have been in my house. Please. I thought you wanted me to leave. Now I want to leave. I Let me go. Let no. me go. No, please don't go. See, you are my responsibility. You and this child that you are carrying is my responsibility. Please, baby. I'm on my knees. I'm begging you. Please. Please. Get up. I'm sorry. I love you. I love you too, baby. With all my heart, I love you. This is my parents. Baby. and that's his mother. Yeah. What, 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 what is she talking about? Your mother is not dead. It was only Tess's mother that died. <sighs> this is your mother. But you told me my daughter was dead. Hey! Hey! But can someone tell me what is really going on here? More! Oh, uh, please, let's sit down. I'm 
if my husband chooses to wash his baby's clothes. It is my business. Because you are a woman and it is very wrong for you as a woman to be in the house while your husband washes your baby's clothes. He is my husband and this is my house. So go to your house. Rosalind, you've changed my brother. You have turned my brother into a woman. What are you calling him? Why don't you wash this place when you can make this thing? This is not the Richard that I used to know. But you have totally changed. I don't blame you. Adama, this is my wife. How would you talk to my wife in such a rude manner? This is my wife. I choose to wash my baby's clothes. Please. Wi-Fi. But our Wi-Fi indeed. You just want a wife. Are you a wife? Are you a wife? Useless woman. You will never change. Will you ever change? No. Shut up. Shut up your mouth. Up. You know, I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. I chose to marry this your wretched girl. I chose to marry him. You should be happy. You should be thanking me that you married your wretched girl. You are very useless. You don't have to be a shameless woman. You are very shameless. Yes, 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 you are very You want to call me water. You want to call me water. It's okay. Hey, shut up. It's all right. It's all right. Don't see, baby. I'm sorry. My daughter. That's my question. I say, where are you coming from? What kind of stupid question is that? And since when do you start questioning my movement in this house? For crying out loud, what kind of woman will leave her baby, a little baby like this, this morning? You left this house this morning. And you are coming back now. Richard, what is wrong with you taking care of your own baby? Could I kill myself because I gave birth? And I got married to a wretched man that cannot even take care of me. Please take care of the baby. What do you mean by that? Richard, I am very tired. I need to rest. Okay? Listen ah. to me. Don't you ever, don't you ever call me Richard again. Can you hear me? Are you not Richard? Richard, are you not Richard? Can you take care of me? Can you take care of me, Richard? Stupid, useless man. Ah, ah, wait, ah, hey, can... Try it, Richard, just try it. My people will not dare you for life. Useless man.
Ah, ah. Brother. Good afternoon. You are here already? Yes. How are you doing? Yes, sir. You, you have to follow me, please. Home. Please follow me. <laughs> How are you? <sighs> ah, but I said for me. Adani, it has happened again. Uh, what has happened? My wife, she left the house since three days now. I have not set my eyes on her. And my phone is switched off. I've been battling with this little baby. And my minor job. This woman wants to kill me. That is why I sent for you. You need to help me to take care of the child. Please. You just have to help me. You know you are the only sister I have. Brother, it's okay. It's fine. I'll help you take care of the baby. Let her go. But I let the heart go before she kills you and this child. I don't know what to do. But I let her go. I don't know what to do, Adani. It's fine. I'll take care of the baby. Yes, I'll be okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Please let me inside. Okay. I'll be doing it. Do I even have time to eat? Oh. She has been crying all day. What have you come here to do? I'm here to see my daughter. Which daughter are you talking about? Lucy, my daughter. <sighs> Where is she? Your daughter, Lucy, is dead. I'm sorry, what did you say? What did you say? Lucy! Three months after that, I came here to settle down. And by a stroke of luck, I got the opportunity of becoming what I am today. And that was when I met Jesus' mother and married her. You, you mean? Lucy and I are siblings? I can't believe this. My daughter. <gasps> oh, my daughter, please forgive me. I don't believe this. I don't believe this. Forgive me, please. I was too young then. I, I, I could not understand life. Please. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Forgive me. I'm happy that you are still alive. Forgive me. Please stand up, please. Wow, wow, wow. It's okay. Are they... I have a confession. 
Oh, cheesy, I'm so sorry. I lied. I lied about Cheesy. Cheesy's not like her mother. Huh. I, 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 I did it out of jealousy, envy. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. Forgive me, Cheesy. Please, please. I'm Tessie, Tessie. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry about the embarrassment that you made to. I'm sorry. So it's easy for you to say sorry, j j just like that? I didn't mean to, huh? honestly. I'm sorry. You are so weak. And you are heartless. Oh. My daughter, what are you doing here? Please. To see you and your father. Good evening, sir, my husband. Did you shut up? Who is your husband? Eh? Now get out of my house this minute! Please, my husband. Please. Do not chase me away, please. Please. I know I have erred, please. I'm only asking for your forgiveness, please. I'm not asking for you to take me back as your wife, but please. Bet what? Bet what? Tell me! But, but just forgive me. Your forgiveness is all I ask. Please, please. I beg you. Can I help you to beg him now, please? My, my in law. Hey, just, just shut up. Who is your in law? No, who is your in law? Now bundle this thing and take it out of my house this minute. Now! My daughter, I'm sorry. Please help me to beg your father, please. Help me to beg your father, please. <laughs> you always say to air is human. I know with the kind of damage she has done to you. Sorry is not enough. But please. Forgive her. Please. She is remorseful, Father. It is not how much we make mistakes. But how we realize that we have made mistakes and tried to correct them. You're a good man, Father. <laughs> and you've always taught us to forgive, no matter what. <laughs> I thank you for all the love you have shown me all through my childhood. <laughs> Till this moment. Please forgive Please, Please. I'm sorry. Please. 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 I'm so sorry. I take all the blames. I fell for it because... Because I asked you suddenly and you never opened up to me. Please, forgive me. Forgive me, please. I'm 
She has no shame And she don't even care And she don't wanna know the damages she is causing The cry of a child with a wayward mother Someone who don't want to change She's living the life of this grace She don't even want to change The pains of a child with a wayward mother Who lives a day to life She don't even want to change Her whole life is full of mess Why? Mama, why are you making this up for me? Why are you making me shed these tears? Oh, I am going through these pains cause of you Why can't you just change your ways? Oh, Mama, why, 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 oh Why do you choose this battle? Oh? I am going through these pains because of you Why can't you just change your ways?